My beloved child, listen very carefully, because this message is personal, and it's important that you hear every word. I see what's going on in your heart, and I know you're struggling. This is for you. Don't stop halfway, watch this message until the end because what I'm about to say can transform how you see yourself and your life. I know someone in your life your person is embraced with a burden right now. Maybe it's someone you deeply care about, someone you trust, someone who matters to you. I know what they did, and I know how much it's weighing on their heart. They made mistakes, they've hurt themselves, and maybe they've even hurt you. They're carrying a lot of guilt, shame, and fear over what they did. But you need to understand something important, so listen closely. My love for them, and for you, is greater than any mistake they've made. My precious child, if you seek the blessings I have prepared for you, declare your need before me. Type yes I need, and know that I am ready to pour my grace upon you. What they did it's done. They made a choice. Maybe it was wrong. Maybe it caused pain. But that doesn't mean they are beyond forgiveness. Too often, we believe that once we've made a mistake, once we've crossed a line, that sit there's no coming back. But I need you to understand this. I never give up on anyone. Not on you, not on them, not on anyone who seeks me. Maybe your person is embraced by shame, trying to hide from what they did. They're drowning in regret, and they don't know how to fix it. You may have seen their pain, you may have felt it too. You may have even been hurt by their actions. But I need you to remember something. I am the God of second chances, of redemption, of healing. If your person is embraced by guilt, feeling like there's no way forward, I want them to know that the path to redemption is always open. No one is beyond forgiveness, no one. Now listen to this next part, because it's important. How much they struggle doesn't define who they are. Maybe they've been fighting battles you don't even know about. Maybe they've been facing inner demons that they've hidden from the world, including you. Their struggle might be bigger than you realize. But understand this, their struggles don't define their worth. I see every bit of pain they carry, every mistake they've made, and every tear they've shed in silence. And even in their darkest moments, I still call them my beloved child. Their worth in my eyes is not diminished by their struggles or their mistakes. Just like you, they are love unconditionally. They may have fallen short, but I am not counting their failures. What I am looking at is their heart, their desire to change, and their potential for growth. Tell your person that their struggles are not a life sentence. They don't have to be stuck in this place forever. I am calling them out of their shame, out of their guilt, out of their past. And I want you to believe that too. Believe in the possibility of transformation for them and for you. You've probably been wondering how much can one person carry before they break? How much pain is too much? Maybe you've watched your person struggle with the weight of their actions, or maybe they've tried to hide it from you, but you see it in their eyes. Here's the truth they cannot heal if they do not forgive themselves. But forgiveness starts with understanding that they are still worthy of love. No matter what they did, they are still worthy of healing. I forgave them before they even asked for it. I am not holding their mistakes against them. So why should they hold on to the guilt? Forgiveness is the door to freedom, and it's a door that is always open. I have already extended my forgiveness to them, it's up to them to accept it. And if they do, their soul will find the peace they've been longing for. And now, here's something for you. If their actions have hurt you, you need to forgive too. I know, that's not easy. But forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting what they did. It means letting go of the resentment, the anger, and the hurt that's been holding you back. 
is about finding peace for yourself as much as it is for them. Forgiveness is the beginning of healing for everyone involved. I want you to understand something crucial how much your person matters to me. You may feel hurt by what they've done, or maybe you've lost some trust. But no matter how much they've fallen, they are still my child. They are still precious to me, and I will never turn my back on them. Dear one, if these words have filled your heart with my presence, express it with a like and let it be a small act of faith. You may not be able to fix everything, and that's okay. Healing takes time, and sometimes it takes more strength than we think we have. But know that I am working in your person's heart, just like I am working in yours. Their mistakes, their failures, they do not define how much they matter to me. They are loved beyond measure, even in their brokenness. And I want you to know that your love, your support, your forgiveness, it matters too. It may be the very thing that helps them see the light in their darkest moments. Now, listen until the end, because this part is vital. There is hope for the future, both for you and for them. The story isn't over. Whatever happened, however much pain there has been, this is not the end. Your person can heal. They can grow. They can change. And so can you. It won't happen overnight, and it won't always be easy, but I promise you this. I am with you every step of the way. I will guide you both through this. And if you keep your heart open, you will see transformation maybe in ways you never expected. So often, when we are faced with pain and regret, we lose sight of the future. But I am already there, waiting for you. I have plans for you, and for your person plans for healing, for restoration, for joy. I am the God who makes all things new, and that includes your relationship, your trust, and your peace. I need you to hear this compassion is the key. Your person may have done things that hurt, but they are also hurting. They need compassion as much as they need forgiveness. And the truth is, you need compassion too. This world is hard enough without us tearing each other down. Embrace each other with love, with patience, with kindness. If you can do that, you will see miracles in your lives. You will see healing, you will see trust being rebuilt, and you will see love bloom in places where you thought it was dead. Don't give up on each other. Don't let mistakes and pain be the final word. I am the final word, and my word is love. I know it may feel like the end right now, like there's no way forward. But I need you to keep watching, to keep listening until the end. There's more to come. The journey isn't over, and the best is yet to come. If you both open your hearts to forgiveness, to compassion, to healing, you will see a transformation that you never thought possible. I am working in ways you cannot yet see, preparing a future that is brighter than you can imagine. So, stay with me. Stay open. Stay hopeful. I am with you and I will never leave you. No matter how much has been broken, I can mend it. No matter how much has been lost, I can restore it. And no matter how much has been hurt, I can heal it. This is not the end. It is only the beginning of a new chapter, one filled with grace, love, and renewal. My child, your person is embraced by love, not shame. You need to remember that I see both of you through the eyes of love, not judgment. Your person, no matter what they did, is embraced by my grace. And so are you. Don't let guilt, anger, or fear have the final say. Love is greater than all of that. Watch this message until the end, and carry it in your heart. There is more to your story than the pain of the past. The future is filled with hope, and I am walking with you every step of the way. Beloved, will you partner with me to reach hearts that long for my love? 
Your support by clicking buy me a coffee strengthens this mission to spread my truth. I see your heart, and your generosity is a blessing. Thank you dear one, for walking with me. Dear child, nowadays the blessed messengers have chosen these cards so simply can get at what your individual is humiliated almost and what they did. Dear child, the blessed messengers have brought forward a message of profound significance through this card, talking to both your heart and your soul. They get it that you just are looking for clarity almost your individual and what they may be humiliated approximately, and they are here to direct you with cherish, kindness, and truth. This card has been drawn to remind you of your possess internal quality and the control of self-belief, but it moreover carries a particular message almost your individual and their current sentiments of humiliation. The blessed messengers need you to begin with, and preeminent no merely are commendable of belief, adore, and regard. They see the struggles you have got been through, the vulnerability you will be feeling, and the questions that weigh on your intellect. Y'all be pondering why your individual is carrying on the way they are and why they appear to carry a covered up burden of disgrace. The blessed messengers need you to center on your claim certainty amid this time, to remain solid in your knowing, and to believe the instinctive sentiments that have guided you in this way far. Your individual is right now wrestling with a sense of shame, but this shame does not stem from something outside, it comes from an inner realization that they have not acted in arrangement with their higher self. The blessed messengers are showing you that your individual has been covering up something not essentially a mystery, but a portion of themselves that they are embarrassed of. This may be a past activity, a misstep, or a minute of shortcoming where they were not their best self. The blessed messengers uncover that your individual is feeling defenseless since they fear judgment, not as it were from you but from themselves. The angels are tenderly empowering you to preserve certainty in how you approach this circumstance. Don't falter in your conviction in yourself you have the inner quality and shrewdness to handle this with beauty and sympathy. Yowl have as of now detected that something has been not right and your instinct is redress. Your person's humiliation is the reflection of you or your relationship or maybe it is something they are hooking with actually. They may be feeling blameworthy almost how they've dealt with a specific circumstance, or they might have acted in a way that didn't honor the adore and association you share. Anything it is, the blessed messengers need you to know that perfect way the most perfect way forward is through persistence, understanding, and self-assurance. The blessed messengers also want you to get it that your person's humiliation is really a sign of development. They are starting to recognize the effect of their actions, and this mindfulness is causing them inconvenience. But the blessed messengers remind you that distress frequently goes before change. Your individual may have made botches, but they are presently coming to terms with these blunders and feeling the weight of their choices. The blessed messengers need you to approach this with sympathy, not outrage. Your person's feelings of disgrace demonstrate that they are learning and advancing, indeed in case it doesn't appear that way on the surface. Sort so be it if you believe in angel direction amid this time. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to stay sure in your boundaries. Whereas it is critical to be understanding, it is similarly critical not to lose locate of your claim needs and desires. The blessed messengers remind you that genuine cherish and regard come from common trustworthiness and straightforwardness. On the off chance that your individual has wronged you or acted out of alignment, they ought to claim up to their behavior. Your confidence will serve as a directing light for them, appearing them merely are not somebody to be taken for allowed but rather someone who deserves truth and sincerity. The blessed messengers too need to highlight that your certainty isn't close to managing along with your person's humiliation it is almost enabling yourself in this minute of vulnerability. In some cases, when those we love act in ways that confuse or hurt us, able to start to address our possess worth. The angels are resolved that you just must not drop into this trap. You're strong, beautiful, 
and deserving of all the great things life must offer. Their message to you nowadays is to stand tall and hold your head tall. No matter what your individual is going through, it does not characterize you or your relationship. In reality, the blessed messengers need to guarantee you that this period of distress will pass. Your individual may require time to completely go up against their shame and make revises for anything they have done. But the blessed messengers are working behind the scenes to bring recuperating to both of you. They are empowering you to remain open-hearted but not to lose locate of your claim esteem. Certainty in this occasion is not about control or dominance, it is approximately knowing your worth and standing in your truth. My beloved child, come and be part of a family that seeks my truth. Subscribe to receive words of hope and strength, for I desire to lift you higher and guide you each day. Your individual is humiliated since they feel they have fallen brief of the desires they set for themselves or maybe the desires you've got for them. They may be perplexed of disillusioning you, but the blessed messengers need you to know that now and then dissatisfaction leads to development. On the off chance that dealt with a door, this circumstance can be a learning encounter for both of you. It can develop your bond and lead to a more prominent understanding of each other's vulnerabilities and qualities. The blessed messengers are calling on you to utilize this opportunity for open communication. Bought from a put of confidence and kindness. Permit your individual to precise their humiliation, without judgment, and in turn, share your sentiments truly. The blessed messengers need you to see that usually not fair a minute of trouble, but a chance for both of you to develop closer and more grounded together. Dear one, the angel's message is obvious of certainty, believe in your claim internal control, and no merely are competent of taking care of this circumstance with beauty. Your person's humiliation is transitory, but your quality and adore will carry you both through this challenge. Be understanding, be kind, and most of all, be certain in yourself and the cherish that encompasses you. Dear child, the blessed messengers are here with an effective message for you, nowadays, drawn from the vitality of this card. They get at your disarray and crave for clarity with respect to your individual and the profound sentiments of humiliation they are encountering. This card offers a clear and lighting up message one that sheds light on the covered up perspectives of your person's activities and sentiments. The blessed messengers have brought this message to assist you see the truth with benevolence and to direct you toward understanding. The blessed messengers need to first emphasize that this card speaks to clarity, warmth, and truth. They are sparkling their divine light on the circumstance, uncovering what has been concealed. Your individual is feeling humiliated since something they have been attempting to stow away, maybe indeed from themselves is presently coming to light. This may be an activity they took or a truth they were dodging, but presently they can no longer run from it. The light of the blessed messengers is here to uncover this to you not to form torment, but to bring mending. Your individual is feeling the weight of this truth, and they are humiliated since they know they cannot keep it covered up any longer. The light of the blessed messengers is shining, and it uncovers everything indeed the things your individual may have attempted to bury within the shadows. They are presently confronting the reality of their actions or words, and usually making them feel uncovered and vulnerable. The blessed messengers need you to get it that this shame could be a fundamental step toward development. Your individual must stand up to what they've done and arrange to memorize from it and move forward. The blessed messengers need you to know that whereas this truth may be awkward for your person, it is additionally a source of freedom. The truth, once uncovered, has the power to set both of you free. Not will you be living in the shadows of instability or question. Your person's shame is brief. But the truth that has been revealed will lead to a more noteworthy understanding and potentially a more profound bond between you. The blessed messengers are directing you to approach this circumstance with adore and kindness, 
knowing that whereas your individual may be feeling embarrassed, usually a minute of significant alter, and recuperating. The light spoken to in this card moreover talks to delight and inspiration. In spite of the shame your individual is feeling, there's an fundamental message of trust. The blessed messengers are here to remind you that this circumstance, whereas challenging, will eventually lead to a brighter and more concordant connection. Your person's embarrassment may be a sign that they care profoundly around how you see them, and they need to make things right. The angels are empowering you to see this as a sign of their eagerness to develop and make strides. The shame your person is encountering may stem from a minute where they acted out of arrangement with their genuine self. Maybe they did something incautious or made a choice they presently regret. The blessed messengers are sparkling their light on this to offer assistance. You both understand that everybody makes botches, and it is through these botches that we learn the most approximately ourselves. Your individual is now being called to step into the light of truth, to confess where they went off base, and to require obligation for their activities. The blessed messengers are delicately directing them through this prepare, advertising them the metal to be genuine with you and with themselves. Sort so be it in the event that you believe in blessed messenger direction. The blessed messengers too need to remind you that this card carries a message of mending. Fair as the sun recuperates the earth with its warmth and light, so as well does this minute offer mending for your relationship. Your individual may feel embarrassed presently, but the blessed messengers are directing both of you toward a place of forgiveness and recharging. This circumstance is meant to tear you apart instead. It is a chance to come together in truth and adore. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to keep your heart open to permit the light of this truth to direct both of you toward a more profound association. The blessed messengers get it that when somebody we care approximately feels humiliated, it can make separate between us. But they are empowering you not to let this shame make dividers between you and your individual. In SEP, they need you to utilize this minute as an opportunity to bridge the whole, to offer understanding and kindness. Your individual is feeling defenseless, and they require your back to move through this minute of distress. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to be their light in this time of haziness, to offer them benevolence and tolerance as they work through their sentiments. This card too carries a message of development. The shame your individual feels is a sign that they are prepared to stand up to their activities and develop from them. The blessed messengers are reminding you that genuine development comes from confronting the truth, no matter how awkward it may be. Your individual is being called to step into their most noteworthy self, to require duty for their activities, and to memorize from this encounter. The blessed messengers are directing both of you through this prepare, advertising you the quality and shrewdness to explore it with grace. The blessed messengers need to guarantee you that the circumstance will not file until the end of time. The humiliation your individual feels will blur, and in its put will come a more profound understanding of themselves and their relationship with you. This card brings with it the guarantee of brighter days ahead. The light of the blessed messengers is continuously with you, directing you toward peace and concordance. Your person's shame is basically a step on the journey, a minute of development that will eventually lead to more prominent adore and association between you. The blessed messengers need you to stay open to the plausibility of mending. They are inquiring you to hold space for your person's powerlessness, to permit them the opportunity to be genuine, and to share what they've been stowing away. The light of the blessed messengers will offer assistance and lighten the way forward, appearing both of you the way toward truth and understanding. The humiliation your individual feels isn't something to be dreaded but or maybe a sign that they are prepared to go up against their activities and grow from them. Dear one, the blessed messengers are with you each step of the way. They are directing you toward a put of clarity and peace, making a difference you to see the truth with cherish and kindness. Your person's shame is transitory, 
but the truth that's being uncovered will lead to a more profound association and a more honest relationship. Believe within the light of the blessed messengers and know that they are continuously directing you toward what is best for your most noteworthy great. Dear child, the blessed messengers have a delicate and adoring message for you nowadays. Passed on through the vitality of lead celestial host Jovil. They get at your concerns and questions almost what your individual may be feeling humiliated around, and they are here to offer you direction filled with sympathy, magnificence, and intelligence. The vitality of lead celestial host Jovial is all around seeing the excellence in every situation, no matter how troublesome it could seem. She energizes you to see past the surface and see the more profound truths that lie underneath the feelings your individual is right now experiencing. Lead Celestial Host Jody's nearness in this message shows that your individual is profoundly humiliated approximately something they have done, but the blessed messengers need you to know that the shame isn't implied to bring disgrace or blame or maybe. It is an opportunity for development and transformation. Your individual may have made a botch, acted out of arrangement with their genuine self, or even harmed you inadvertently. Their shame comes from a put of realizing that they have fallen short of their claimed desires and may be your desires as well. The blessed messengers need you to know that your individual is inalienably terrible or unworthy sense of this. Chief Heavenly Messenger Jovial is here to remind you that ever body, counting your individual, is meriting of a door and absolution. Her pink vitality encompasses this circumstance with warmth and sympathy inquiring you to see your individual through a focal point of understanding and beauty. Anything they may have done, the blessed messengers are directing you to see the beauty in their vulnerability. Their humiliation may be a sign that they care almost how you see them, and they are hooking with their own sentiments of blame and lament. The angels are tenderly encouraging you to grasp absolution, not as it were for your individual but for yourself as well. In some cases, when somebody we love makes a botch, it can be simple to harbor resentment or disillusionment. But Chief Heavenly Messenger Jovil needs you to center on mending through cherish, not through fault. She is encouraging you to mollify your heart and approach this circumstance with benevolence. Your individual may be feeling embarrassed since they know they've harmed you, and they are battling without to create things right. If my words have brought comfort to your heart, show your thankfulness by pressing the like button and let it bless others. The blessed messengers are directing you to offer them the space to apologize and to appear that you just are open to compromise in case that feels right to you. The message from Lead Celestial Host Jovil 2 talks to the significance of excellence in our intuitive. Your person's shame may have caused them to pull back to dodge confronting you or talking approximately what they've done. But the angels need you to keep in mind that there's excellence in helplessness and genuineness. When somebody feels humiliated, it is frequently since they are perplexed of being judged or rejected. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to make a secure space where your person can express their sentiments without fear of condemnation. By advertising them sympathy and understanding, you're permitting them to step into the light of truth and start the mending prepare. Amen in the event that you believe in blessed messenger direction. Chief Heavenly Messenger Jody's Pink Light 2 speaks to the excellence of connections and associations. The blessed messengers need you to know that this minute of humiliation and inconvenience does not characterize your relationship. It is basically a momentary challenge that on the off chance that drawn nearer with Cherish can lead to more profound understanding and closeness. Your person's humiliation could be a sign that they care profoundly almost your relationship and they are perplexed of losing your belief or love. The blessed messengers are directing you to see this circumstance not as a source of torment but as an opportunity to develop closer, to mend and to fortify your bond. The blessed messengers moreover need you to recognize that magnificence can be found within the handle of recuperating. 
Your person's embarrassment may feel overpowering to them right presently, but the angels are working to assist both of you move through this with beauty. They are inquiring you to center on the magnificence of pardoning, the excellence of moment chances, and the excellence of a door that transcends mistakes. Your individual is learning from this involvement, and their shame could be a sign that they are prepared to require responsibility for their activities. The blessed messengers are empowering you to meet them midway, to offer them the chance to form things right and to develop from this minute. Chief Heavenly Messenger Jovial also brings a message of inner beauty and self-worth. The blessed messengers need you to know that in spite of the challenges you'll be confronting together with your individual, your meriting of cherish, regard, and benevolence. Your certainty and self-worth ought to not be reduced by somebody else's actions. Archangel Joel is here to remind you to honor yourself, to see the excellence in your possessed heart, and to know merely are commendable of a relationship that's built on trustworthiness, belief, and mutual regard. Whereas your individual may be feeling humiliated, the angels are inquiring you to stand solid in your own value and not let this circumstance make you address your worth. The blessed messengers are too guiding you to approach the circumstance with tolerance. Your individual may require time to completely prepare their shame and to discover the courage to come forward with an apology or explanation. Lead celestial host Joy's vitality is delicate and gentle, empowering you to be quiet with them as they work through their sentiments. Now and then, when somebody is humiliated, they retreat internal, and it may take time for them to feel prepared to open up. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to permit this handle to unfurl actually without constraining a resolution. Trust that the angels are guiding both of you toward healing within the right time. The blessed messengers need to take off you with a message of trust. Chief Heavenly Messenger Gist Vitality is filled with light and inspiration reminding you that this minute of shame is the conclusion of the story. Your person's sentiments of disgrace and regret can lead to positive alter and growth, both inside themselves and inside your relationship. The blessed messengers are directing you toward a future where this circumstance is recuperated, where both of you've got developed more grounded, and where love wins. They need you to hold on to the trust that this minute in spite of the fact that troublesome, is part of a bigger travel toward a more profound and more excellent association. Dear one, the blessed messengers are encompassing you with love, beauty, and sympathy. They are guiding you to see the circumstance through the eyes of Cherish, to grasp pardoning, and to recognize the beauty in your person's defenselessness. Their humiliation may be a sign that they are learning and developing and the blessed messengers are here to assist both of you move forward with grace and understanding. Trust in their guidance and know that healing is on the way. Dear child, let my love flow through you. Share this message with someone who is seeking comfort and a reminder of my grace. Dear child, the blessed messengers have drawn near to you nowadays to offer a message of understanding and clarity. Through the vitality of this card, they get at the perplexity and enthusiastic turmoil you're encountering as you attempt to get at what your individual may be humiliated approximately and what they have done. The message from the blessed messengers is one of truth. In any case troublesome it may be to confront, but two of mending, absolution, and the opportunity for development. The blessed messengers uncover that your person's shame stems from an activity they took that was not in arrangement with honesty or judgment. There is a sense that they may have been attempting to get absent with something, maybe by being beguiling, shrouded, or manipulative. Whether it was a little lie, withholding the truth, or an act that they thought they might cover up, their humiliation comes from knowing profound down that their activities were off base. The blessed messengers are directing you to get it that this minute of disgrace is and sign that your individual is mindful of their wrongdoing and is presently hooking with the results. Your individual may have acted out of fear or frailty, 
attempting to ensure themselves from something they didn't need to confront. The blessed messengers appear that they may have been attempting to maintain a strategic distance from struggle, showdown, or the vulnerability of being open and honest with you. Instead of confronting their fears head-on, they chose a way of shirking or untruthfulness, considering they may handle the circumstance without being caught or uncovered. But the blessed messengers need you to know that nothing remains covered up until the end of time, and presently your individual is feeling the weight of their activities. The shame they feel may be a result of this realization, that what they did was not as it were off base but that it may harm you or damage the belief you share. The blessed messengers are shining their divine light on this circumstance to assist you see the truth clearly, not to form more pain, but to offer you both the opportunity for mending. Your person's humiliation could be a sign that they are starting to require obligation for what they've done, indeed in case they are battling to confess it by and large. The blessed messengers are directing you to approach this with kindness, but moreover with clarity. The blessed messengers get it that trickery, whether enormous or little, can be a painful thing to reveal. It shakes the establishment of belief in any relationship, clearing out you addressing what is genuine and what has been covered up. But the blessed messengers are here to remind you that recuperating is continuously conceivable, indeed after duplicity. They are encouraging you to permit the truth to come to light, no matter how awkward it may be, since as it were at that point can genuine mending start. Your person's humiliation is the primary step toward this mending. It appears that they are not proud of what they've done, and the blessed messengers are empowering you to see this as a moment of potential development or maybe then fair disloyalty. Amen. In case you believe in blessed messenger direction, the angels are moreover directing you to reflect on why your individual may have acted in this way. While their behavior is excusable, the angels need you to understand that fear often drives individuals to create choices that are out of arrangement with their genuine selves. Your individual may have been anxious of losing you, anxious of judgment, or perplexed of confronting the truth almost themselves. The blessed messengers inquire you to consider this as you explore your feelings. What were they perplexed of? What did they think they would pick up by being beguiling? And what are they presently realizing approximately the effect of their activities? Your individual is now in a put of inward strife torn between the crave to form things right and the fear of completely conceding their botch. The blessed messengers are directing them fair as they are directing you toward a put of truth and compromise. They are making a difference your individual discover the strength to face what they've done, to apologize and to look for absolution. But the blessed messengers too want you to remain grounded in your claim truth during this prepare. Whereas it is imperative to be compassionate, it is equally important to honor your claim sentiments and boundaries. The blessed messengers are reminding you that you merit honesty and straightforwardness in your connections, and this minute is an opportunity to strengthen that. The energy of this card too talks to the concept of lessons learned. The blessed messengers need you to know that whereas your person's activities may have caused hurt, they are moreover portion of their spiritual growth. This circumstance, awkward because it may be, is educating them important lessons almost judgment, genuineness and the results of their choices. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to recognize that this isn't fair a minute of shame for your person it is a urgent point in their journey toward getting to be distant better a much better a higher a stronger and improved a higher, more true adaptation of themselves. Precious child, your gift through super thanks is an offering of love that multiplies. It allows my message to reach those in need of hope. As you click that button, you are sowing into a harvest of blessings that will overflow in your life. The blessed messengers, moreover, bring a message of assurance for you. They are encompassing you with their divine light guaranteeing that no encouraged hurt will come from this circumstance. They are directing you to remain solid, to believe in your possess instinct, 
and to permit the truth to unfurl actually. They are reminding you that you simply are never alone in this prepare. They are continuously by your side, advertising you consolation, quality, and intelligence. Your person's shame is their burden to carry, but the blessed messengers are making a difference. You both move through this with beauty and sympathy. The blessed messengers offer a message of trust. Whereas it may feel troublesome to see past the current circumstance, they are empowering you to hold on to the plausibility of healing. Your person's humiliation, whereas agonizing, could be a sign that they are prepared to stand up to their activities and make revises. The angels are directing you both toward a way of truth, absolution, and compromise, in the event that that's what your heart wants. They need you to know that this minute of distress is the conclusion, but or maybe the starting of a modern chapter where genuineness and belief can be modified. Dear one, the blessed messengers are with you presently, advertising their cherish, security, and direction as you explore this troublesome circumstance. They are making a difference your individual confront their shame with metal and empowering you to remain solid in your truth. Believe within the angel's direction and know that no matter what unfolds, your being held in divine cherish and light. Dear child, the blessed messengers have brought a significant and delicate message for you nowadays, drawn from the vitality of this card. They see your heart, your concerns, and the perplexity that encompasses your person's shame. Through this message, the blessed messengers wish to offer clarity, direction, and cherish as you explore this fragile minute in your relationship. This card carries a profound importance when it comes to matters of adore, association, and choices. And the blessed messengers are here to shed light on what your individual may be feeling and what they have done to cause this embarrassment. The blessed messengers need you to know that at the center of this situation is the bond you share with your individual. This card talks to the profound enthusiastic and otherworldly association that exists between the two of you association which will have as of late been tried. Your person's shame stems from a minute of shortcoming or destitute judgment that specifically impacts this association. They may have acted in a way that goes against the love and believe you've built together and presently they are feeling the weight of their actions. The blessed messengers reveal that your person's humiliation isn't almost what they did but around how it has influenced you and your relationship. They profoundly care for you, and the realization that they may have harmed you or jeopardized your bond is causing them to feel embarrassed. The blessed messengers are tenderly directing you to get it that whereas your individual may have made a botch, this minute of embarrassment is in sign that they esteem your relationship and are battling with the blame of knowing they may have caused hurt to something so valuable your person's actions may have been affected by allurement, disarray, or a minute of instability almost the path they were on. The blessed messengers need you to know that a door is effective constraint, but it too requires duty and clear choices. Your individual may have been bun up against with a choice one that they did not handle in perfect way the most perfect way. Whether they acted rashly, made a choice that went against their way better judgment, or indeed permitted exterior impacts to influence them, the angels are appearing you that their shame comes from recognizing that they did not honor the adore they have for you in that moment. The blessed messengers are here to remind you that adore is almost enthusiasm and association it is about trust, respect, and responsibility. Your person's humiliation may be a sign that they are coming to terms with the fact that they let you down in a few way. They may be battling with how to form things right, and they may feel uncertain around how to confront you after what they've done. The blessed messengers need you to approach the situation with sympathy, understanding that whereas your individual is feeling embarrassed, usually moreover a minute of development and realization for them. Amen. In case you believe in blessed messenger direction, this card moreover talks to the thought of choices. The blessed messengers need you to know 
that your individual is presently confronted with a choice around how to move forward. Their embarrassment is pushing them to reflect on their actions, and the blessed messengers are empowering them to select a way of genuineness and compromise. They are being guided to require duty for what they've done, to face the results, and to work toward mending the fracture they may have caused in your relationship. The blessed messengers need you to know the typically essential moment, one that can lead to a more profound understanding between you on the off chance that dealt with cherish and openness. Your person's shame may be established within the fear of losing you. The blessed messengers see that they are perplexed their activities have harmed your belief in them, and they are battling with how to modify that belief. The blessed messengers are reminding you to hold space for pardoning on the off chance that that feels right to you, but also to honor your possessed sentiments and boundaries. Cherish may be a capable drive, but it cannot flourish without mutual respect and genuineness. The angels are directing you to have an open and honest discussion along with your individual, permitting them to precise their lament and giving them the opportunity to form altars. The angels also need to remind you of the otherworldly perspective of your association together with your individual. This card speaks to not as it were physical and passionate ador but moreover a otherworldly bond that rises above the challenges you will confront. Your person's humiliation, whereas excruciating for them, is additionally in sign that they are starting to get at the profundity of this association on a more profound level. They are realizing that adored is not just approximately sentiments or fascination, it is almost commitment, belief, and the choices we make each day to honor the individuals we care around. The angels are directing you both toward a way of recuperating. They are empowering your individual to step into their truth, to claim their activities, and to approach you with lowliness and genuineness. At the same time, the blessed messengers are inquiring you to stay open to the plausibility of pardoning and compromise, on the off chance that that's what your heart wants. They need you to know that this minute, whereas troublesome, can lead to a more profound and more important association if both of you are willing to face the truth and work through it together. The angels moreover bring a message of self-love for you. Whereas your individual is humiliated almost their actions, the angels need you to keep in mind that your worth is characterized by somebody else's botches. Your meriting of adore, regard, and genuineness, and the angels are encompassing you with their defense of light amid this time. They are empowering you to prioritize your claim well-being, and to guarantee that any compromise comes from a put of common regard and understanding. You've got the control to form choices that honor your heart and the angels are here to bolster you in anything path you choose. The angels want you to know that a door may be a journey, one that's filled with both delight and challenges. This minute of shame and trouble is portion of the journey, and whereas it may feel overwhelming now, the blessed messengers are directing you both toward a brighter future. Whether that future incorporates recuperating together, or choosing isolated ways, the blessed messengers are reminding you that love is continuously display, directing you toward what is best for your soul's development. Dear one, the angels are with you presently, advertising their cherish, direction, and back as you navigate this challenging situation. Your person's shame could be a sign that they are learning, growing, and understanding the importance of the adore you share. The blessed messengers are directing you both toward a way of mending, genuineness, and more profound association. Believe in their direction, and know that you just are encompassed by divine cherish and assurance each step of the way. Dear child, the blessed messengers have a capable and transformative message for you nowadays through the energy of Archangel Uriel. They know that you are looking for to get at the source of your person's humiliation, and the activities that have driven them to feel this way. Lead Celestial Host Uriel, with his ruddy light of wisdom and illumination, is here to direct you through this minute, advertising clarity, quality, and a way toward determination. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel is known as the blessed messenger of shrewdness, edification, 
and truth. His ruddy vitality speaks to the establishing control of courage, passion, and the fire of truth that clears absent perplexity and haziness. In this circumstance, the blessed messengers uncover that your person's humiliation stems from a profound realization that they have made a mistake or acted in a way that contradicts their way better judgment. Lead celestial host Uriel's vitality is shining light on their actions, helping them see with clarity what they have done and why they now feel ashamed. Type Amen in case you believe in angel guidance. The blessed messengers need you to know that your individual is grappling with an internal conflict. They may have acted impulsively or made a choice out of fear, pride, or a want to secure themselves. Be that as it may, beneath the light of lead celestial host Uriel, they can no longer hide from the truth. They are being appeared the results of their activities, and usually causing them to feel humiliated as they presently recognize the harm or perplexity they may have caused in your relationship. My dear one, walk with me, and join this community where my words of love will fill your heart. Subscribe, and let my message bring peace and joy into your life. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel is directing your individual to stand up to the truth head on, indeed in spite of the fact that it is troublesome for them to do so. They may have been attempting to maintain a strategic distance from Dewey or deny what they've done, but the blessed messengers need you to know that the truth is presently getting to be evident for them. Their humiliation may be a coordinate result of this realization. They are seeing that they cannot elude the results of their choices, and the blessed messengers are encouraging them to step forward with trustworthiness and responsibility. Your individual may be feeling a profound sense of blame or disgrace since they know they have let you down. The blessed messengers are directing you to get it that this feeling is portion of their otherworldly development. They are being called to confront their activities with metal, and whereas it may be troublesome for them, Archangel Uriel's nearness shows that this minute of humiliation may be a vital step toward their individual change. The blessed messengers are making a difference your individual see that as it were by recognizing their botches can they move forward and start to mend the circumstance. The ruddy vitality of lead celestial host Uriel too brings a message of energy and concentrated. Your person's shame may be tied to feelings they have been battling to control. Maybe they acted out of outrage, envy, or fear of powerlessness. The blessed messengers are showing you that their activities, whereas unfortunate, were not essentially done out of malevolence, but or maybe out of a minute of enthusiastic shortcoming. Your person may now be realizing that they permitted their feelings to cloud their judgment, and usually what is causing them to feel humiliated. The blessed messengers are empowering you to see at this circumstance through the focal point of kindness, understanding that your individual is presently coming to terms with their passionate reactions and the effect those reactions have had on your relationship. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel is additionally bringing you a message of strengthening. The blessed messengers need you to know that you simply have the control to bring light into this situation. Just as Uriel brings divine light, whereas your individual may be feeling humiliated and unsure of how to create things right, the blessed messengers are inquiring you to stand solid in your truth. You have got the inward intelligence and quality to direct this circumstance toward recuperating, but it is vital to stay grounded and clear in your communication. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel is encouraging you to approach your individual with both sympathy and immovability, permitting them the space to specific their sentiments whereas moreover making it clear that genuineness and responsibility are required for the relationship to move forward. The blessed messengers moreover need to remind you that shame and disgrace can be effective catalysts for change. Your person's embarrassment isn't implied to be a discipline, but or maybe a wake-up call. Lead Celestial Host Uriel's nearness in this circumstance indicates that your individual is being called to the next level of mindfulness and obligation. They are being appeared the significance of acting with astuteness and making choices that adjust with their higher self. 
The shame they feel could be a reflection of their inward acknowledgement that they need to alter, and the blessed messengers are directing them toward this transformation. For you, dear one, the blessed messengers are advertising their back and guidance as you explore this minute. They are inquiring you to stay open to the plausibility of pardoning and recuperating, but too to honor your claim, boundaries and needs. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel's ruddy vitality is establishing and offensive, reminding you that whereas it is imperative to be compassionate, it is similarly vital to guarantee that your individual takes duty for their activities. The angels are empowering you to have an open and legitimate discussion together with your individual, permitting the truth to come to light and creating a space where mending can start. Lead Celestial Host Uriel's message moreover emphasizes the significance of truth in all connections. The blessed messengers need you to know that trustworthiness, indeed when it is troublesome, is the establishment of belief and love. Your person's shame could be a sign that they are starting to get at the weight of this truth. They may have tried to hide or deny their activities, but the blessed messengers are guiding them to see that as it were by grasping the truth can they move forward with astuteness. The embarrassment they feel is the result of seeing themselves in unused light one that's enlightened by the intelligence and clarity that Uriel brings. The blessed messengers bring you a message of trust and re-establishment. Lead celestial host Uriel's ruddy light is not as it were almost uncovering the truth but moreover around enabling both you and your individual to move forward with more prominent quality and intelligence. This minute of shame and inconvenience is portion of a bitter handle of change. Your individual is being called to step into their higher self, to act with more keenness and obligation, and to rebuild the belief which will have been harmed. The blessed messengers are directing you both toward a way of healing one that's built on the establishment of truth adore, and shared regard. Dear one, the blessed messengers are with you presently, advertising their divine shrewdness and security as you explore this circumstance. Chief Heavenly Messenger Uriel's ruddy light encompasses you and your individual, making a difference to clear absent the disarray and bring clarity and truth to the surface. Your person's embarrassment could be a sign that they are learning and developing and the blessed messengers are directing them toward a way of responsibility and recuperating. Believe in their direction, and know merely are encompassed by cherish, light, and divine intelligence each step of the way. Sort so be it. In the event that you believe in blessed messenger direction, dear child, the blessed messengers are bringing forward a message of profound otherworldly understanding and individual development. Through the vitality of this card, they have listened your concerns and questions almost what your individual may be feeling humiliated around, and they are here to offer you direction from the next divine point of view. This card, associated to your divine self in the dynamic orange vitality of change and inventiveness, talks of the inward travel your individual is experiencing, as well as the lessons you're both implied to memorize through this involvement. The blessed messengers need you to get it that your person's humiliation is simply around and separated activity, or botch it goes much more profound than that. Their shame stems from a detachment between their current self and their higher divine self. The divine self, spoken to by the orange energy in this card, is the portion of us that's adjusted with truth, judgment, and our highest purpose. Your individual may be feeling embarrassed because, on a soul level, they know they have acted in a way that's out of arrangement with their higher self. This mindfulness is causing them to feel awkward and humiliated as they are presently starting to recognize how distant their activities have strayed from their genuine nature. The blessed messengers reveal that your individual may have made choices that were based on inner self, fear, or frailty instead of from a put of a door, truth, and arrangement with their divine self. Maybe they acted out of a crave to secure their picture, dodge helplessness, or pick up control over a circumstance. Anything the reason, 
Their activities did not come from a put of genuineness or inner truth, and this is why they are presently feeling humiliated. They are starting to realize that they have not honored their possessed divine self, and this realization is weighing intensely on their heart. The blessed messengers need you to know that this humiliation isn't something to be seen as a disappointment, but rather as a significant step on the way to self-awareness and otherworldly development. Your person's embarrassment may be a flag from their soul that they are being called to reconnect with their higher self. The blessed messengers are directing them to reflect on their activities, to recognize the disengagement between who they truly are and how they have been carrying on and to require steps toward realigning with their divine self. This is often a moment of otherworldly arousing for them, indeed on the off chance that it feels uncomfortable or agonizing right presently. The orange vitality of this card is too profoundly associated to imagination, recuperating, and change. The angels need you to see that whereas your person's shame may be causing them to feel stuck or embarrassed, it is additionally an opportunity for significant individual development. They are being welcomed to mend the parts of themselves that led them to act out of arrangement with their higher self. This may include standing up to past wounds, fears, or insecurities that have been driving their behavior. The blessed messengers are directing them toward a put of mending where they can discharge these lower energies and step into the complete expression of their divine self. For you, dear one, the blessed messengers are offering a message of patience and understanding. They need you to see this circumstance not fair through the focal point of what your individual has done, but through the broader perspective of their spiritual journey. Your person's shame could be a sign that they are within the prepare of learning an important lesson approximately genuineness, astuteness, and self-love. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to hold space for this development, to permit your person the time and opportunity to reconnect with their higher self, and to approach the circumstance with kindness. The blessed messengers are moreover directing you to reflect on your possessed divine self during this time. Fair as your individual is being called to realign with their higher self, so, as well are you being welcomed to develop your association along with your inner truth and shrewdness. The blessed messengers need you to recognize that this encounter, whereas challenging, is additionally an opportunity for your possess otherworldly development. They are empowering you to remain associated to your possessed divine self, to trust in your inner knowing, and to stay grounded in your truth as you navigate this circumstance. The orange vitality of this card moreover talks to the power of inventiveness and unused beginnings. The blessed messengers are appearing you, that while your person may be feeling humiliated and stuck right now, there's potential for change and re-establishment. Their embarrassment, whereas awkward, is a catalyst for alter. My beloved, come closer and grow in my love. Tap join to receive my teachings and experience deeper fellowship. Together, let us walk this path of faith, filled with grace and truth. The blessed messengers are directing them to require responsibility for their activities, to memorize from their botches, and to move forward with more noteworthy intelligence and self-awareness. This circumstance can lead to a new starting for both of you in case you're willing to grasp the lessons it offers. The blessed messengers are moreover reminding you that embarrassment and disgrace are portion of the human experience, but they don't characterize us. Your person's humiliation could be a reflection of their inward struggle, but it does not cruel they are unworthy of cherish, absolution, or development. The angels are directing both of you toward a put of sympathy, where botches are seen not as disappointments, but as openings to memorize and advance. They are inquiring you to approach this circumstance with an open heart, to see the magnificence in your person's helplessness, and to offer them the chance to realign with their higher self. Amen. On the off chance that you believe in blessed messenger direction, lead celestial host Uriel's ruddy vitality, which moreover carries components of shrewdness and divine light, 
works in agreement with this orange vitality, appearing you the way forward with clarity and truth. Together, these energies direct you and your individual toward recuperating and self-discovery, reminding you that the truth of your divine selves is distant more effective than any botch or mistake. The blessed messengers need to take off you with a message of trust and strengthening your person's humiliation, whereas troublesome is driving them toward a more profound understanding of themselves and their reason. They are being guided to reconnect with their higher self, to embrace their internal truth, and to take responsibility for their activities. The blessed messengers are supporting them each step of the way, making a difference them recuperate and develop into the individual they are implied to be. Dear One, the blessed messengers are with you presently, encompassing you with a door, sympathy, and divine light. They are directing you both toward a put of recuperating, where your divine selves can sparkle through and lead you toward a brighter, more adjusted future. Believe in their direction, and know simply are both being held in divine cherish as you explore this travel together. Dear child, the angels bring you a message nowadays that's established in truth, clarity, and understanding. They see the disarray in your heart, the questions encompassing your person's humiliation, and the weight of their actions. Through the vitality of this card, the blessed messengers need to assist you see the circumstance from the next viewpoint, one that provides shrewdness, understanding, and a way forward. Through the control of truth and astuteness, the blessed messengers uncover that your person's shame stems from a minute when they acted in a way that needed clarity or trustworthiness. This may have been a time when they permitted their emotions to cloud their judgment, or maybe they chose to withhold the truth instead of confront a troublesome discussion. Anything the circumstances, the blessed messengers want you to know that your individual is presently feeling the weight of their activities. They are humiliated since they recognize that they did not handle the circumstance with the level of maturity or obligation that was required. The message from the angels is obvious your individual is being called to step into their truth. The shame they are feeling could be a result of realizing that they have fallen brief of the tall benchmarks they set for themselves. They may be somebody who prides themselves on being coherent, clear-headed, and genuine, but in this specific circumstance, they permitted themselves to act out of alignment with those values. The blessed messengers are showing you that your person's shame is a sign that they are aware of their misstep and are presently hooking with how to make things right. Your individual may have acted imprudently or permitted their feelings to induce the superior of them. The blessed messengers need you to get it that whereas your individual is typically someone who values reason and rationale, they are still human and helpless to myths of emotional overpower. Their shame is tied to the realization that they did not maintain the level of added, measured approach they more often than not depend on. Is step. They may have spoken or acted in flurry, and presently they are reflecting on how their activities may have influenced you and the relationship. The angels are directing your individual to require responsibility for their activities and to approach you with honesty and integrity. The embarrassment they are feeling could be a call for them to acknowledge what they've done, to clear the disgust, and to address any errors or harm that will have emerged as a result of their behavior. The blessed messengers are encouraging them to step into the part of the truth conveyor, to utilize their voice and their shrewdness to bring clarity to the circumstance. They are being empowered to have a coordinate and open discussion with you, one that's established in genuineness and the want to recuperate. The blessed messengers too need you to know that this card speaks to the significance of clear communication. Your person's shame may be stemming from the truth that they didn't communicate clearly with you within the past. Maybe they dodge a troublesome point or chose to stay noiseless when they ought to have talked up. The blessed messengers are directing them to adjust this by being straightforward with you now. The shame they feel could be a flag that they are prepared to confront the truth, to confess where they went off base, and to work toward revamping the trust which will have been shaken. 
The blessed messengers are moreover inquiring you to reflect on how you'll be able to approach this circumstance with clarity and sympathy. They know that when somebody we care almost is humiliated or embarrassed, it can make a remove between us. But the blessed messengers are directing you to stay open to the plausibility of recuperating through legitimate communication. They need you to get it that usually not almost what your individual has done it's approximately how y'all both move forward with more noteworthy understanding and mutual regard. The humiliation your individual feels could be a sign that they are prepared to form things right and the blessed messengers are empowering you to form a space where that mending discussion can take put. Amen. If you believe in blessed messenger direction, the angels want you to see this circumstance as an opportunity for growth, not fair for your individual but for both of you. Your person's embarrassment may be a reflection of their inside battle with how they've taken care of things, and the blessed messengers are appearing you that this minute can be a turning point. By confronting the truth together, by bringing clarity and genuineness into the relationship, you both have the chance to extend your association and reinforce the bond between you. The blessed messengers are directing you to approach this with a sense of calm and intelligence, permitting the truth to unfurl normally. Chief Heavenly Messenger Michael's vitality moreover comes through in this message, bringing security and the control of truth. He is encompassing you and your person with his light, helping to cut through any disarray, mistaken assumptions, or untruthfulness that may have been clouding the circumstance. He is empowering both of you to stand in your truth, to speak openly, and to move forward with clarity. The blessed messengers are reminding you that genuineness is the establishment of all sound connections, and this minute of shame is basically portion of the journey toward more prominent genuineness. The blessed messengers too need to remind you that whereas shame can feel overwhelming, it is additionally a sign of development. Your individual is learning from their mistakes, and the shame they feel is an indication that they are willing to reflect on their activities and make changes moving forward. The blessed messengers are directing them to step into a more developed, capable adaptation of themselves, one that respects truth and clarity in all interactions. They are being called to approach you with regard to confess where they've gone off base and to require dynamic steps toward mending the relationship. The blessed messengers take off you with a message of trust and strengthening. Whereas your person's shame may feel like a burden right presently, it is additionally a gift. It is an update that they are able of growth, that they are learning from their encounters, which they care sufficient almost you and your relationship to need to make things right. The blessed messengers are directing both of you toward a place of recuperating, where trustworthiness and clarity can clear the way for a more grounded, more true connection. Dear one, the blessed messengers are with you presently, advertising their cherish, direction, and security. They are helping you and your individual explore this circumstance with elegance and shrewdness, reminding you that truth is continuously the way to healing. Trust in their direction, and know that you are being upheld every step of the way. Dear child, the blessed messengers have a powerful message for you, nowadays, filled with knowledge and clarity, brought forward by the vitality of this card. They understand your concerns around your person's shame and what activities they may have taken that have driven them to feel this way. Through this card, the blessed messengers are here to direct you with intelligence and kindness, making a difference you to see past the surface and get at the more profound layers of what has unfolded. Dear one, if these words have filled your heart with my presence, express it with a like and let it be a small act of faith. The blessed messengers uncover that your person's humiliation is established in impulsiveness and activity or a choice made in flurry without completely considering through the results. This card talks of quick, decided vitality, but it too cautions of the perils that come when choices are made as well rapidly or with as well much feeling driving them. Your individual may have hurried into a circumstance 
talked out of turn, or acted in a way that was hasty and receptive, driving to shame. Presently that the results of their activities are getting to be clear, the blessed messengers need you to know that your person's shame may be a reflection of their lament. They may have acted as well rapidly without considering how their words or activities would affect you with a relationship. Maybe they were attempting to demonstrate a point, attest their autonomy, or resolve a circumstance in their own way, but presently they realize that their approach was not the most excellent. The blessed messengers are appearing you that your individual feels humiliated since they know in knowledge of the past that they might have dealt with things in an unexpected way. They are hooking with the realization that their lack of caution may have caused harm or misconception. This card's vitality is one of criticalness, and the blessed messengers uncover that your individual may have felt a solid ought to act or talk up within the minute without delaying to reflect on the greater picture. They may have been driven by a sense of urgency, thinking they required to settle something rapidly, but their scurry driven them to form choices that they presently lament. The blessed messengers need you to see that your person's humiliation is tied to this realization. They acted as well quick, and now they are cleared out feeling awkward with the result. The blessed messengers are moreover directing you to get it that this lack of caution may have been driven by feelings that were not fully handled. Your individual may have been feeling on edge, baffled, or indeed dreadful, and these feelings pushed them to act some time recently they had a chance to fully think things through. The blessed messengers need you to know that your individual is presently reflecting on their behavior, realizing that their enthusiastic state affected their activities and typically why they are feeling humiliated. They are starting to see that they permitted their feelings to abrogate their way better judgment, and this realization is causing them inconvenience. Amen. In case you believe in blessed messenger direction, the blessed messengers are empowering you to approach this circumstance with compassion and understanding. Whereas your person may have acted in flurry, their humiliation appears that they are mindful of their botch and are starting to memorize from it. The blessed messengers are directing them toward greater self-awareness, making a difference them to get at the significance of abating down, considering things through, and considering the effect of their activities some time recently moving forward. Your person's humiliation is portion of their development and the blessed messengers are supporting them as they learn how to adjust their drive for activity with the intelligence of persistence and reflection. The message from the blessed messengers too highlights the significance of communication in this circumstance. Your person's activities may have been driven by a want to communicate something vital, but in their scurry, the message may have been misplaced or misjudged. The blessed messengers are guiding both of you to open the lines of communication and to have a discussion that is established in clarity, trustworthiness, and persistence. They need you to get it that whereas your individual may have spoken or acted rapidly, there's presently an opportunity to moderate down, return to the circumstance, and discover a way toward determination through astute exchange. The blessed messengers need you to recognize that this minute of embarrassment is an opportunity for development for both of you. Your individual is being called to reflect on their impulsiveness and to memorize how to adjust their crave for quick activity with the intelligence of astute decision-making. The blessed messengers are moreover empowering you to reflect on how y'all make a space where both of your feel uncomfortable communicating openly and honestly, without the weight of direness or passionate overpower. This circumstance, whereas challenging, may be a chance to construct a more grounded establishment of trust and understanding in your relationship. Lead Celestial Host Michael's defensive vitality comes through in this message, advertising direction and bolster as you both explore this situation. He is making a difference to cut through the disarray and passionate intensity, bringing clarity and calm to your contemplations and activities. The blessed messengers are reminding you that whereas the circumstance may have felt rushed or chaotic, there's presently an opportunity to bring peace and determination through clear, grounded communication. 
Chief Heavenly Messenger Michael's Sword of Truth is directing both of you to talk straightforwardly, to tune in with kindness, and to discover a way forward that respects both of your viewpoints. Dear child, let my love flow through you. Share this message with someone who is seeking comfort and a reminder of my grace. The blessed messengers moreover need to console you that your person's humiliation, whereas troublesome for them, is portion of their learning prepare. They are starting to get at the significance of abating down, reflecting some time recently acting, and considering how their activities influence those they care approximately. The blessed messengers are directing them to require duty for their lack of caution, and to approach you with trustworthiness and lowliness. They are being called to confess where they went off base, to apologize in the event that fundamental, and to create revises for any harmed or perplexity they may have caused. For you, dear one, the blessed messengers are advertising their cherish and back as you explore this circumstance with elegance and shrewdness. They are reminding you to remain grounded in your plain truth, to believe your instinct, and to stay open to the plausibility of recuperating. Whereas your individual may have acted hurriedly, the blessed messengers need you to know that their shame could be a sign that they are learning and developing. They are being guided to require a more astute approach moving forward, and the blessed messengers are empowering you to hold space for this development whereas to honoring your claim sentiments and boundaries. The blessed messengers need to take off you with a message of trust. This minute of shame and distress is the conclusion of the story, but rather a chapter within the travel of development and understanding. Your person's lack of caution has instructed them in vital lesson about patience, reflection, and communication, and the blessed messengers are directing them toward more prominent shrewdness and self-awareness. The blessed messengers are also directing you to approach this circumstance with kindness, to trust within the handle of development, and to stay open to the plausibility of recuperating and compromise. Year one, the blessed messengers are with you presently, advertising their cherish, security, and direction as you move through this circumstance. They are making a difference both you and your person to discover clarity, to communicate transparently, and to approach the longer term with intelligence and elegance. Believe in their direction, and know that you just are encompassed by divine adore and bolster each step of the way. Dear child, the blessed messengers have come to you nowadays with a significant message through this card one of otherworldly arousing, reflection, and change. They get at the questions in your heart approximately what your individual may be humiliated around and what activities they have taken that have driven to this feeling. Through the vitality of this card, the blessed messengers need to convey a effective and elevating message that goes past the surface of the circumstance, bringing understanding into the more profound otherworldly travel both you and your individual are on. Amen in the event that you trust in blessed messenger direction. The blessed messengers need you to know that your person's shame is simply a result of a particular activity, but a reflection of their inward arousing. They are at a junction, in their life a minute of figuring where they are being called to assess their choices, behaviors, and the way they have been strolling. The shame they are feeling comes from the realization that they may not have been living in arrangement with their higher self or the values that they hold dear. They are presently confronting the results of their activities, not only in terms of how it has influenced you, but moreover how it has impacted their possessed sense of keenness and otherworldly development. This moment is one of judgment, not judgment within the sense of condemnation, but are maybe a time of self-reflection and responsibility. Your individual is being called to see truly at themselves, to survey their past activities, and to get at how they have contributed to the current circumstance. The blessed messengers uncover that your individual is feeling humiliated since they are presently completely mindful of how their activities or choices may have driven to harm dissatisfaction, or disarray. This realization is awkward for them, but it is additionally fundamental for their development. The blessed messengers are guiding them through this prepare of self-reflection, 
helping them to see where they have strayed from their truth and empowering them to require duty for their activities. The shame your individual feels is tied to this arousing, they are starting to get at the effect of their choices and are feeling the weight of the judgment they are passing on themselves. The blessed messengers need you to know that usually not about punishment or disgrace, but around development. Your person is being inquired to step into a unused level of awareness where they can now not overlook the truth or run from the consequences of their actions. They are being called to rise over their past botches, to memorize from them, and to convert into distant better a much better a higher a stronger and improved and improved form of themselves. The blessed messengers are too directing you to see this circumstance through the focal point of compassion and understanding. Your person's humiliation may be a sign that they are willing to alter, that they are prepared to stand up to the truth, which they are open to the plausibility of redemption. The blessed messengers need you to know that whereas this minute may feel overwhelming, it is additionally filled with potential for recuperating and recharging. Your individual is going through a period of self-realization, coming to terms with the choices they've made and the effect those choices have had on their relationship with you and with themselves. The blessed messengers are empowering your individual to grasp this minute of judgment with lowliness and beauty. They are being guided to require obligation for their activities, to confess where they went off base, and to look for forgiveness not just from you, but from themselves as well. The shame they feel could be a reflection of their crave to do way better, to create corrects, and to modify the belief that will have been shaken. The blessed messengers are making a difference them to see that whereas they cannot alter the past, they have the control to shape long term through genuineness, astuteness, and a recharged commitment to living in arrangement with their higher self. For you, dear one, the blessed messengers are advertising a message of pardoning and recuperating. They need you to get it that this minute isn't closed to your person's travel, but around your possess as well. You're being inquired to reflect on how this circumstance has affected you and to consider what part pardoning plays in your possess recuperating prepare. The blessed messengers are directing you to open your heart, not as it were to the plausibility of pardoning your individual but moreover to pardoning yourself for any pain or perplexity you will have experienced along the way. Typically a time of renewal for both of you a chance to discharge the past and move forward with a more prominent sense of clarity and reason. The angels are also reminding you that judgment, in its most noteworthy form, is around understanding and sympathy. Whereas your person may feel humiliated and embarrassed of their activities, the angels are inquiring you to approach them with thoughtfulness and compassion. Usually a minute of powerlessness for your individual, and they require your back as they navigate the prepare of self-reflection and development. The blessed messengers need you to form a space where your person feels secure to specific their sentiments, to confess their botches, and to look for pardoning. By doing so, you are making a difference them to move through this period of judgment with beauty and nobility. The angels need to guarantee you that this minute of judgment is driving to a higher purpose. Your person's shame may be a vital portion of their otherworldly arousing, and it is opening the entryway to an unused chapter in both of your lives. They are being guided to rise over their past botches, to learn from them, and to move forward with a renewed sense of reason and judgment. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to believe in this prepare, to have confidence that this minute of figuring is driving to something greater, a more profound association, a more grounded bond, and a more authentic relationship built on truth and understanding. The message from the blessed messengers is additionally one of trust and chained. They need you to know that this minute, whereas challenging, is ultimately a favoring in disguise. It is advertising both of you the opportunity to develop, to recuperate, and to form on you starting. The blessed messengers are guiding your individual to step completely into their truth, to take obligation for their actions, 
and to grasp the lessons that are being uncovered to them. They are moreover directing you to believe, within the prepare of healing, to stay open to the plausibility of absolution, and to permit this minute of judgment to lead to more noteworthy wisdom and understanding. Amen. On the off chance that you believe in blessed messenger direction, the blessed messengers take off you with a message of strengthening. They need you to know that you simply have the control to form the future you desire. Your person's humiliation is part of their travel, but it is additionally portion of yours. The blessed messengers are empowering you to require this minute to reflect on what you genuinely need in your relationship and in your life. You have got the ability to make choices that honor your most elevated self, to set boundaries that ensure your heart, and to move forward in a way that aligns together with your truth. The blessed messengers are with you, supporting you every step of the way, and they are directing you toward a future filled with a door, mending, and transformation. Dear one, the angels are with you now, surrounding you and your individual with divine adore and light. They are making a difference you both explore this minute of judgment with elegance and shrewdness, and they are directing you toward a future that's brighter, clearer, and more aligned with your most noteworthy selves. Believe in their direction, and know that you are continuously held in the arms of divine adore. Dear child, the blessed messengers are wrapping you in their adoring grasp as they convey, and vital message one that will bring clarity to your heart and intellect. They see your struggles and know the vulnerability you feel about your person's humiliation, the activities they've taken, and the way ahead. With this message, the angels wish to illuminate your understanding, offer you peace, and direct you toward more profound intelligence and sympathy for both yourself and your individual. My beloved child, will you extend your hand to support the work of my kingdom? Click below to buy me a coffee and help spread my message far and wide through this channel. Your love and contribution bring joy to my heart. Thank you, dear one, for your kindness. Your blessed messengers are here to remind you that what your individual is encountering is more than fair surface level humiliation. It may be a minute of significant otherworldly development and self-realization. They have made choices that they presently lament and these choices have driven them to a point where they must confront not as it were your judgment but, more critically, their claim. The humiliation they feel is established in a profound mindfulness that they have not been genuine to themselves or to you. The blessed messengers need you to see this minute as one where your individual is coming face to face with their higher self a showdown between their activities and the more profound truth they are presently being inquired to grasp. The blessed messengers are appearing you that your person's activities may have been driven by fear, frailty, or a need of clarity. Maybe they acted out of flurry, or perhaps they dodged in critical discussion, trusting to bypass inconvenience. But the truth, as the blessed messengers uncover, continuously comes to light and your person's humiliation is the result of them at long last seeing that they cannot maintain a strategic distance from the truth any longer. They are being called to require duty for their activities, to confront the results with lowliness, and to recognize the effect their choices have had on both you and the relationship. The angels emphasize that this is often a critical turning point for your person an opportunity to memorize, develop, and change through the lessons they are presently being shown. Your blessed messengers need you to get it that humiliation isn't something to be feared or judged brutally. In step, it may be a flag from the soul that there's an opportunity for arrangement with truth and higher awareness. Your person's sentiments of shame are acknowledgement that they have acted in a way that does not reflect who they genuinely need to be and this mindfulness could be a capable catalyst for alter. The blessed messengers are directing them to move through this inconvenience with elegance, to claim their botches, and to create altars where essential. They are empowering your individual to grasp this minute as a chance to rise over their past activities and to step into a modern, more true adaptation of themselves. 
As your individual navigates this period of self-reflection, the blessed messengers need you to stay grounded in sympathy and understanding. They see your possessed bowels and the torment Yao have felt as a result of your person's activities. The angels are not asking you to overlook or minimize your sentiments, but or maybe to approach this circumstance with an open heart, knowing that recuperating is possible. Your person's humiliation could be a sign that they are willing to alter, and the angels are guiding both of you toward a path of compromise and more profound understanding. They need you to know that through this prepare, you've got the opportunity to revamp, believe, to communicate more straightforwardly, and to form a more grounded establishment for long term. The blessed messengers are also reminding you of your claim controlled in this circumstance. They need you to see that whereas your individual is going through their possessed travel of self-awareness, you, as well, are being called to reflect on your needs, your boundaries, and your desires. The blessed messengers are directing you to honor your truth, to communicate your sentiments with clarity and thoughtfulness, and to guarantee that your voice is listened. This minute of defenselessness for your individual is additionally a minute of strengthening for you. The blessed messengers are empowering you to stand in your quality, to believe your instinct, and to stay open to the plausibility of recuperating, but as it were on the off chance that it adjusts with your heart's deepest truth. As your individual faces their claim internal judgment, the angels are moreover making a difference you explore the feelings that come with this realization. There may be sentiments of harmed, selling out, or dissatisfaction, but the angels are here to remind you that a door, understanding, and forgiveness can transcend these challenges. They are directing you both to rise over the past and to see this circumstance as an opportunity for development. Your person's humiliation, whereas troublesome for them, is additionally a sign of their eagerness to do better, to become more adjusted with their higher self, and to act with more noteworthy judgment moving forward. The blessed messengers are appearing you that this period of embarrassment and reflection is not an conclusion, but a starting. Your person's travel through this minute of self-awareness will lead to a change in how they approach their connections, how they communicate, and how they express their cherish and commitment to you. They are being called to step up, to be more careful of their activities, and to live in arrangement with the truth they presently see. The blessed messengers are supporting them as they move through this process, helping them to find the courage to confess their botches and to require the essential steps to create things right. For you, dear one, the angels are offering their unflinching cherish and direction. They want you to know that you simply are never alone in this handle and that you are being held in divine light as you navigate these feelings. They are making a difference you to stay centered in your truth to be compassionate without relinquishing your claim needs, and to believe that anything unfurls from this circumstance is eventually for your most noteworthy great. The blessed messengers are inquiring you to have confidence in their direction, to stay open to the lessons being displayed, and to believe that you simply have the quality to handle anything comes following. This minute, whereas filled with complexity and feeling, is one of significant opportunity. The blessed messengers are directing both you and your individual through this period of reflection and recuperating, making a difference you to see that through honesty, vulnerability, and a eagerness to develop, you'll be able both rise from this more grounded and more adjusted along with your genuine selves. They need you to know that the way forward may not be simple, but it is filled with potential for change, more profound association and a recharged sense of reason in your relationship. As the blessed messengers observe over you both, they are sending you their cherish, their light, and their unbounded shrewdness. They are directing you toward a future where truth, understanding, and adore prevail where both you and your individual can move forward with more prominent clarity, keenness, and a more profound sense of association. Believe in their direction, and no merely are being backed each step of the way as you explore this travel of development and change. 
Sort so be it in the event that you believe in blessed messenger direction. I trust you've got understood the subject what is your individual humiliated almost. What did they do? Well, in this blessed messenger message, on the off chance that you also accept in blessed messengers, do not disregard to type and so be it within the comments and subscribe to the channel. My adored child, stop for a moment. It's no coincidence that you're hearing these words they hold great significance. They are the light for your soul, brightening each portion of your being. They mend your feelings, ease your push, and bring clarity to your intellect. Most importantly, they uncover your monstrous worth. Your straightforwardness moves me. I adore you as you are and have no want to alter your substance. Do you listen me? Do you get it me? I need to convert you but not change who you are. In case you would like to develop, I will direct your growth. In case self-control could be a challenge, tune in to me every day here you all discover my recuperating words that work ponders in your intellect, cleansing difficult recollections and feelings. You once fell into pity effectively, but presently you are diverse. See it yourself. Come, tune into me. They're your eyes. You're in my presence, surrounded by my glory. In case your soul cries today, it is from delight. In my interminable kingdom, there will be no more tears, no more distress, no more torment. This promise begins presently on this soil. I have fixed all my guarantees with my revival, and my sacred soul stays in your heart. I am here to blessing you with the chance to grasp unused life. Each morning, you've got the opportunity to revive your contemplations and dreams, to revive your desires and make your most profound wants come genuine. Those who turn away from my word live in segregation, caught by fear. They meander without trust, yearning for cherish and love. But you, my dear one, know me. Just as I have not judged you and have not reimbursed you for your sins, go and share with others that what they genuinely seek is found in my nearness. I stand here with open arms, my hands coming to out, prepared for anyone who listens this word of life and acknowledges it. Receive this living water, this estate of cherish there is mending for your soul. I have wonders for all those you bring to me. Share this message with those in require, and you will witness how each heart is touched. I cherish them so much that I gave my life on the cross for their sins, so that whoever accepts in me will have unceasing life. You are developing closer to me each day, and our relationship extends with each minute. Tune in clearly presently, and let there be no question about my will for you. Give me another miniature do not take off fair however. Exterior, laments drop like rain, and the crave to live completely fades. Those who don't know me lash out in their disarray without confidence. They attempt to prevent others from accepting. They live to debilitate those who, like children, come to me with pure hearts and without demanding signs. Do not step into the shadows of fear. The path is still dull, and I do not want you devoured by upsetting contemplations. Do not walk with evil or take after the savage, even if they encompass you and deride your confidence. Keep in mind that my sacred soul is inside you, your eyes sparkle with metal, and no one can vanquish you. This is the hour to confront life boldly, but hold up until your soul finds peace in my powerful and living word. You are doing not require anybody to foresee your future since I hold it in my hands, and my plans for you are for great and success. Believe in me, for no determination or judgment can win over my will. I am your God, and I will mend you. I am your defender, and I will secure you. Carry these guarantees in your heart and confront all challenges with boldness. My precious one, unite with those who desire to know my heart. Subscribe and let my words of love and encouragement guide you and give you peace. 
Don't disregard to share this message, for I am with you continuously, directing and reinforcing you. But when the soil trembles and your trust sink into the pit of lose hope, come again. Stop what you're doing. I hold up for you with open arms to support and fortify your confidence. I adore you, this satisfies me. I cherish your true state of mind, your delicate way of giving much appreciated, your want to come early and spend time in my nearness. It makes me cheerful to see you like this. In spite of the day-by-day -day battles you confront, you come with or without excitement, but you dare to kneel and let me know how you are feeling. I am touching your heart except it, since indeed after you are tired, you lean toward to donate me time. It is superior to discharge all your stresses from your soul early and dispose of all pity. I need you to rise re-established, filled with bliss, your soul light without burdens to drag, and from your lips, praises not complaints or absurd words only wonderful supplications and expressions of adore. I am moreover satisfied after you grant a word of support to an individual and lose hope. At wellspring, that streams from your lips to favor is blessed with divine oil that mends illnesses and disseminates brilliant endowments. It is time for you to begin your day. You've got many things to do. You have went through a great time here with me, and presently you have got my favoring for everything to go well. Come with certainty my control goes with you. My beauty goes with you wherever you go. I have set the outline in your heart. Check the way for you. You know where to go. Numerous rise misplaced and confused their lives are prisoners of anxiety because their future is questionable. They do not feel ensured they are slaves to their feelings since they have not known me. Go and tell them that I exist. Tell your family and companions who meander like misplaced cheat who their genuine father is the shepherd of their lives. I am the one who guides them on ways of nobility, shepherds them in places of peace, nourishes them with truth, and gives tranquility to their souls. Indeed, on the off chance that they walk through valleys of shadow and passing, they will not fear since I, their wonderful father, will care for them forever. You took aware as to resume your commitment to me, but here you are nowadays, holding up for incredible marvel for your life. I guarantee you that soon you will see awesome blessing, but do not surge your steps. There's time for everything, time to run and time to walk. Days of battle, time to pray. Days to think around your plans, and the minute to form the ultimate choice. I'll work difficult, now and then with tears, but after you return, you may collect plenitude and joy. There will be minutes when it appears the fulfillment of the guaranteed favoring is postponed, but your life floods with bliss when, sometime recently your eyes, that dream you had gets to be a reality. There are so numerous excellent and incredible supernatural occurrences that you just are as of now seeing, but numerous more endowments are however to come. And before receiving them, you must rise to another otherworldly level, Open your eyes wide, fine-tune your considerations, adjust your feelings with the music of paradise. Let your ears listen to claims to my interminable adore. Sing hymns, tunes, otherworldly psalms. Plan to witness extraordinary ponders. Let your heart continuously be happy it is troublesome. Just be appreciative for all your blessings and see what happens. Any dissatisfaction ends, anger vanishes, and uneasiness vanishes. You are anointed with joy. There's no place for damaging pity in a soul that is continuously active in gratitude, commend, and revere, raising your hands to paradise and giving much obliged for everything to this heavenly Father who protected you. Your blessings don't come because of your flawlessness or your many efforts. I don't need you to place all your belief in your possessibilities. It is genuine that you simply are exceptionally brilliantly, and I will succeed you, but you must be clear approximately the source of your provision and who the maker of your thriving is. I do not need victory to go to your head, 
as has happened to numerous. They thought they were solid, and idealized and endeavored so much that the adversary caught them in their weakest minute when they accepted they were strongest. Your strength is done ceasing, nor is your insights culminate. Even within the easiest things, you will be able to make botches. As it were, fools don't know this truth. But don't be like them. Your favoring, your wisdom, your skill, those blessings you were born with, and those gifts you later learned, your wealth, your calling, the family that surrounds you all come from my grace and love. I grant them to you since I love you, and since of your thankful state of mind, you continuously get more. Offer assistance others and thank them earnestly and humbly. I will bless you with shrewdness and powerful abundance. Tell me now, with all your confidence. My God, I receive my favoring with all my gratitude. I need to appear you nowadays how imperative you are to me. I watch your heart, pour peace into your intellect, and decontaminate your considerations. I allow your parched heart living water to drink. I watch your life in turbulent minutes. I am by your side at all times. Believe. I am giving you the sign, and I need you to treasure it. I am the one who conveys each favoring you get, and you know that with me by your side, each day will be unused opportunity to be favored and astounded. I am here to bring you quality to give you trust after you are in your most exceedingly bad moments those that appear never-ending and circumstances that appear inconceivably. I am your quality and the voice that talks to your heart, giving you light when everything begins to turn gray. Each day I bring colors to your life. I cover you with love and fondness, intelligence and lowliness, so that you simply can take a modern step each day and go advance develop in your confidence, and reach indeed more distant. After you are pitiful, I come without delay. I deliver you all the back and consolation you would like. And when the adversary tries to rise over your life to hurt you or tries to thump you down, I will thump him down before he comes to you. I don't permit him to touch you or come close you. I encompass you with gatekeeper blessed messengers who are continuously observing over your security and peace. Never stray from me continuously stay firm and look for to be closer to me each day. I need to pour much more of my delicacy over your life. My adore for you is boundless and will never conclusion. I fill you with my shrewdness at each moment and in each circumstance you face in your everyday life. I am here to assist you when the sun goes down and the moon rises. I provide you rest. I recharge your vitality whereas you enjoy a peaceful night's rest. I take all your issues and stresses into my capable hands one by one. I will unravel them. There is nothing to fear. Together, we accomplish the inconceivable. I adore you and I need you to know that I pardon you in case you ever strayed or questioned me. I excuse your botches and sins. All I need is to grant you a new life, to convert you and make you live completely by my side. I adore you. Tune into my voice, open your heart, and let these words enter profound inside you. At this minute, don't think around all the issues you have got in confronting. Fair tune into my voice, listen my words. Let my guarantees reverberate in your soul, composed in your heart like ink on paper. I need to evacuate all your fears so that no minutes of forlornness and anxiety remain in you. I have control of your life. I will make you feel my peace at all times, like a waterway of clear and unadulterated water streaming with a breeze but donate me the opportunity to direct you. Kneel each morning to seek me and dow your way to me, and you will see how I assist you. In my hands, I hold your predetermination. I will lead you on the correct way in case you permit me to direct your steps to that idealized put where your bliss and quality gotten to be genuine and true a fate not of torment or stresses, but of favors and bliss. I love you and chose you some time recently you were born. I made wonderful plans for you, 
and I will be with you until the conclusion of time. Let me pour my eminence over you. I need to clarify you with my superb light. Your eyes will open to the extraordinary world, and you will see how numerous things around you are almost to alter. I will be the same forever the one who adores you, believes in you, and needs to direct your steps so that you just are continuously close to me. I place dreams and plans in you that only you and I know. There is no have to be tell the entirety world all the excellent desires you've got you'll awaken envy and envy in people who will attempt to divert and divert you. Or do not tune into those who attempt to dishearten you. They will tell you that I am distant absent, that your wants are not genuine, that your dreams are short-lived, merely will never accomplish them, merely are not arranged, that I do not listen you, and they will indeed set out to say that I don't adore you. But really, I tell you, listen to me well, and let this be etched deeply in your intellect. I am closer than thee, and yowl in vision. My spirit dwells within you, and you have got my favoring. I love you, my child. Be calm. Those who derided you may be astounded at what I will do with you. Their insults harmed you, but I will mend you. My hand is touching you, the double dealings you gotten will before long be overlooked. And those who thought you crushed will see how I lift you up, how your character and name are acknowledged by those who had rejected you. You will have a wealth of bread on your table. My leniency will encompass you, and you will receive monstrous gifts. My beloved, share the light I have given you with those in need. Pass this message on to a heart that longs for hope and strength. The day has come to take off all torment behind, to let go of the harmful words that have caused you so much torment. My eye saw you once you cried out and lose hope my presence was with you after you stowed away your tears, needing to seem solid. No one knew of your struggles, but I was observing you. Presently see it your confront wit reflects within the clear water your character and quality are still there. I have come to break each chain and shackle so that you simply choose once and for all to take off behind a life of covering up all the brilliant potential you carry inside you. I have given you so much beauty, so much talent. I have prepared you to realize goals that would be troublesome for others to reach. Overcoming struggle is your most noteworthy quality appearing firmness within the confront of torment may be a ethical list established in you, and you've got seen it numerous times. Why do you halt envisioning? You must drive forward within the things you've got arranged. For all the dreams you carry in your soul have been sown by my soul and my adore. You have got and critical put in my heart my plans must be satisfied. My will is for you to rise to higher levels. I cherish you and accept everything I tell you because it could be a blessing that covers your family and you. And in case at any time you feel like giving up, stoop take asylum in me. I tell you once more tune into me. I adore you my child. Halt stressing and put everything in my hands. Stress disheartens your life. Halt losing sleep over things you cannot control. I have told you numerous times that there's nothing to fear. I have everything beneath control your future, your fate. I alone choose. Your day-by-day -day battle is to believe center on the things that ought to matter to you. Devote yourself to looking for me, take time to pray. Remain away from people who speak words of fear. I need the leading for you and your family to appreciate all my blessings. That is why I tell you this here. I caution you. After you feel like you are sinking, do not halt trusting. Don't let your intellect me enter, don't feel frightful. Don't deliver up the battle, you are not alone. I am your partner, your God, your shepherd, your best companion. I am planning you for awesome things. I have wonderful plans for you. Fear fills you with sadness and takes away your want to live. So when fear knocks on your entryway, yell my promises with drive. Announce who rules in your life, yell to the four winds who possesses your heart. 
on the off chance that you give me the put I merit in your life, everything will alter. Your confidence will not be crushed, indeed on the off chance that it is hard for you. Yao reach the goal triumphant and triumphant. You may overcome infections, overcome foes, and be a favoring to your family, your children, your companions, to all those who accept in you and give you the opportunity that others denied you. That's why I repeat stop worrying. I know why I do things. In my hands, I hold your predetermination. Accept it because that is how it was, how it is and how it will be. My child, I will make you take off high like and hawk you will fly over all these mountains of anguish and misfortune. You will be over any storm that breaks out, and at night, you may rest gently in my arms. I will deliver you rest and renew your quality. And once you wake up to a modern day, you will be able to see distant beyond any issue. Like and Falcon, Yao know that I have given you spiritual wings so Yao be able to fly tall and touch the sky together with your supplications. At whatever point you are afflicted or feel in peril, I will be your offer assistance. I will come to secure you and amplify my forceful hand. I tell you these things so that on this extraordinary day, you live with bliss and appreciate all my blessings. In my adore, I will recharge your soul. I am transforming you. You will too start to see that numerous things around you are changing. I want all the most excellent for you. What I offer you nowadays is real. Feel my love, let yourself be washed by my powerful blood, and acknowledge being pardoned by my benevolence. I need to make you a modern individual right presently. I will make a modern story of your life. I have the best for you, only the best, and I am the one who gives you quality each day so simply can fly higher and higher, more distant and farther from all those situations that made you lose sleep which beset you. On this new day, I bring much tranquility to your life. I will blow against all the opposite winds shaping a storm around you. I will make the sun shine on you once more, enlightening your ways on this day. Like an incredible tree with roots solidly planted in fertile soil, I will firmly plant your feet on the ways that will lead you to triumph. I will make you a firm and solid individual who is shaken by any difficulty that tries to come your way. If you would like to fly, I will give you wings. If you would like to confront a circumstance with assurance, I will give you quality. And when you do not know what to do within the confront of so many issues, I will give you the fundamental intelligence to overcome and triumph in any circumstance. Nowadays, I am here to revive your soul and make you more grounded than a sheikh, more prominent than any mammoth you will confront. I cherish hearing your supplications, your confidence brings me delight. It makes me so cheerful to see how each morning you provide me the time and put. If my message has touched you deeply, give it a sign with a simple like and let it be a reflection of the love we share. I merit you to come to me with truthfulness and regard, advertising your petitions, laud and revere. Your readiness delights me, it brings me incredible delight to see you allow me your heart. Your earnest in your confidence, in spite of the fact that numerous circumstances have discolored your self-image. Listen this from me, you've got a great heart. You've got fizzled numerous times, but you continuously come some time recently me, apologetic, inquiring for another chance. It is that unused opportunity I need to provide you each day. At whatever point you come to me in confidence, you've got my promise that I will respond to you at whatever point you implore, with certainty that you just will receive the blessing you anticipate. You may get it, don't question. I will do it in my time. I know y'all hold up persistently for that minute to reach. Don't lose locate of the favoring that's coming, my guarantees are firm and genuine. My word is unceasing, my control is at work in your life. But it is your confidence and devotion that maintain you. I require your confidence to perform more supernatural occurrences in you. You must get 
and acknowledge the favoring I send you. Our doing not return to the ancient ways, when it was difficult for you to accept and get the numerous wonderful things I needed to provide you. You thought you did not merit them you needed confidence. But it is great simply learned and developed. Presently you know that your confidence makes a difference you make critical choices. Protect your heart from awful things and comply and put my word into activity. Is your confidence that has been the instrument for numerous changes. You have got told me that your confidence is little, but indeed if it is as tiny as a mustard seed, your faith is immense and wonderful to me. You're as of now seeing changes around you. I am replying your supplications. Your heart is growing stronger, even more prominent marvels anticipate in the put I am driving you. Don't make me your hand, don't let go. Exceptionally before long, we will arrive. I am hurrying the time so that you simply will have your favoring and get the reply you have got been holding up for. The changes I am making are for your great. It ready your heart and intellect open the entryways of your domestic and let my nearness take its legitimate put there. Fair as you listen it nowadays, I guarantee you, your life will alter. I know what you would like but you must implore. I know your needs before you think of them, but I need your contemplations and wants to be clear. I need your dreams to be clear. Be sure of what you inquire of me, know what you need and where you need to go. In the event that you need victory, there's a cost to pay. It requires true faith, intense supplication, difficult work, and much individual give up. I will provide you victory that will be a blessing to you and your family, not something that will bring pity or remove you from me. I do not need your family to suffer from your non-appearance or for you to shine within the world but bring haziness to your domestic. I want the most excellent for you. I crave your genuine peace, earnest confidence, and that you live in tranquility, not stressing almost fabric things. The goods of this world are short-lived. You brought nothing into this world, and y'all take nothing with you after you take off. But the cherish and love you sowed in those who adore you, the confidence you shared, the assistance you gave to those in need, your unwavering confidence and dependability. These will bring you genuine otherworldly compensate. I will personally say to you, come, cherished child, adored daughter, you were loyal and small, I have sent you an incredible blessing, and one day you may get a crown upon your head. I will put it with my possessed hands. I have the power to change times and seasons, to convert hearts. I am putting everything in put for you to appreciate my favors and for your enduring to be cleared out behind. I stand at the entryway and knock open to me. I need to supplicate in your domestic and for all your family to be filled with my wonderful peace. If I tell you that everything will be fine, I ask you to accept me. If you proceed to worry around things you have got as of now put in my hands, you may be clear out without strength. You have given me your hand, let me lead you calmly to green pastures. I do not need you to need anything. I wish to fulfill your soul with divine adore and sacred delicacy. Don't fear any fiendish that may come, Yowl, stand firm, and I will be there. I will not let you go. I will not let you slip away. I know very well that you have felt powerless, which is why I am speaking to your heart, my child. I am here with you. Rather than going around in perplexity and franticness, Sit here with me, rest for a minute. Don't stress around end of the war, be aggravated by the world's circumstance. Center on what is genuinely imperative, your family, your otherworldly life, nourishing your life with my word, asking, doing great, and treating with kindness those who have irritated you and who, in spite of all the love you deliver them, still treat you severely. Turn the other cheek on the off chance that they attack you once more, appear them simply cherish them so much that fair as I gave my life for my children, you're also willing to battle to the conclusion for your family to know me, to be favored, 
and to have freedom. And whereas the soil turns and rumors of wars are listened, you may not halt asking. Compose in your supplication book the names of the individuals you adore. Let me know what you need me to do with them. It is genuine that I as of now know. I know their lives and contemplations as well. But I need you to put your confidence to work, to memorize, to implore for what genuinely things. Indeed, in the event that everybody around you trembles with fear because of the signs they see, not one or the other you nor your family ought to fear. I will not leave you or forsake you, you must be arranged. Whereas others are expended by fear, you may see awesome supernatural occurrences. The trumpets are sounding, the time of your flexibility is drawing closer. But nowadays, pray, believe, battle, live. Don't be panicked by what may come, believe in my word, there's nothing impossible for me. I adore you, let me know you cherish me. I adore to listen it from you. I will take you out of the forsake and lead you to the triumph and happiness you so frantically require. I do it since I cherish you, you're of great value to me, and I have a awesome reason for your life. Pay near consideration, since these words you listen and read are genuine, they are not purge. I know that the circumstance you're experiencing has disheartened you, and it is troublesome for you to face each day with delight. Nowadays, you're going through trouble, but your life is approximately to alter in an astounding and extraordinary way. There were numerous days of pity and misconception, but nowadays your journey in this leave closes. The world attempted to dazzle you, attempted to shake your faith, but you were not defeated, my child. You come to the conclusion of this long and hard test from presently on. I will make your days superior. I will make you grin once more. Everybody around you may see how my quality and control have re-established you in a shocking way. My shrewdness will assist you fathom all these issues you have confronted. After those days of strolling the way of forlornness, you were parched, you were tired, you felt frail, but your confidence and cherish for me and your family gave you the vitality to rise and keep strolling. You proceeded you driven forward to the conclusion, and nowadays I send clouds filled with the extraordinary rain living water of favoring, algesic of mending for your heart. I am filling your soul with my soul, cherish. The pledge I made with you is still substantial. I continuously listen to you, my ear is mindful to you. I provide you my attention each time you come some time recently me in prayer and conjure my sacred title. Nowadays you are confronting a time of extraordinary miracles and ponders that will reach you and your family for your devotion and loyalty, for your perseverance in not giving up in the middle of the difficult way, for accepting in me and trusting me together with your predetermination. I will not fall flat you because I love you so much, my child. I know the contemplations I have for you thoughts of good, not of fiendish. I will place in your hands what you have long asked of me. Let me know once more with your lips what you desire most, and I will listen you from paradise and fulfill the purest crave of your heart. Cheer, my dear child, for your enduring is over the minute of your triumph is near. Believe me when I say this. I cherish you and will never halt cherishing you. Sometimes I see you doubting my cherish, pondering where I am, and considering I have surrendered you, but that will never happen, you're as well valuable to me. Pay near consideration to these words since they hold the answers to your questions. I will never desert you since I cherish you, and you're valuable to me. Each day, I listen your supplications and send blessed messengers to work on your sake, fair as my word guarantees. After you think I have cleared out you, See around, take note the numerous ways I show you my presence in the smile of a child, the melody of fowls, the new breeze that touches your face, and the kind people I place in your way to assist you. I love you, and I appear it through the assurance I pour over your life, fighting your otherworldly fights and keeping you secure from hurt. You have numerous battles, I know, but no one will hurt you since I will not permit it. 
from the minute you wake up until you return domestic. I observe over you, secure you, and care for you. I will guide you wherever you go and bring you securely domestic each day. Never think that I am far away or not paying consideration to you. I am closer than you think. My soul is in your heart. Learn to recognize my nearness around you, and you may never feel alone once more. My cherished one, your faithful support is a powerful act of love. Through your super thanks donation, you're helping spread my light to many. By pressing that button, you are opening yourself to receive grace and blessings far beyond what you can imagine. I rehash and tell you once more. I adore you and will never forsake you. I have something uncommon arranged for your life, and each modern day composes a bit more of your story with my claim hand. What I have for you may be a life full of favors, open entryways bliss, and otherworldly plenitude. Fair believe in my control, and feel my adore, which encompasses you at each minute. I adore you, and I will say it once more since I know you never tire of hearing it. I cherish you. Move forward with confidence, for you carry the control of my soul, which drives you to do awesome and exceptional things. Adored child, beloved daughter, I need you to know that you just are not alone. I am with you, and nowadays I come to scatter the questions in your heart. I need you to get it that you just have no reason to be stressed since I listen your supplication and know all your needs. Don't fear tomorrow or the challenges which will emerge on your way live certainly with the certainty that my guarantees will be satisfied. No impediment or folk halt you on the off chance that you believe in me. Do this, and I guarantee that everything you are doing together with your hands will be favored and thrive. So put aside debilitation and choose to prevail the land of your favoring. Begin taking steps of confidence, fill yourself with my nearness and strengthen yourself. Look for me in my word and in your heart there you may feel my nearness and have a profound disclosure of my word. Fair near your eyes, keep quiet and get your favoring. You know I adore you, child you know I adore you, daughter. I appear it to you each day, communicating my adore for you with wonders, miracles, and signs throughout the universe giving you life, giving the air you breathe, and amplifying your days so y'all know me more. So believe don't question my words, for I have a more noteworthy purpose for you, and you must fulfill it. Do not let question drag you into the dim rear way of frailty, nor let fear restrain your potential. You know I talk to you with truthfulness and truth. Numerous times I have appeared you, Indeed in minutes when everything appeared demolished, I expanded my hand and protected you, sent my blessed messengers to guard you, and spared you from vanquish. In me you can feel secure and sure. In me, you're ordained to do great things, but don't lose your lowliness, since on the off chance that you lose it, pride will be your ruin, and you will not be able to see clearly the path I have set for you. Keep in mind that lowliness will permit you to keep your heart open to my voice and direction so y'all be able to accomplish the desire of my will. Remain firm in your reason and don't falter. Continuously keep in mind that true enormity comes from serving others with a door and kindness. Keep moving forward, son don't halt on your way. Daughter, go and conquer your city, your family, your environment, and all your dreams. Take what has a place to you by confidence. Don't be anxious when issues show up as terrible giants or extraordinary storms. Keep in mind my spirit is upon you, and I have given you special endowments and abilities. Utilize them to do great and take off a positive stamp on the world. Adore your family, regard others, and be a guide of light to those around you. From nowadays, Walk with the certainty that I am planning a table of gifts for you in the presence of your foes, which I am getting you prepared to stand sometime recently all countries. In this manner, don't overlook my words of faith and comply them. 
I know it will not be easy, but you must persevere. Within the morning, you will have a clearer vision and understanding of what you're going through. For I, your God and Father, will open the eyes of your heart and deliver you intelligence to know where to go. Do not stress or be on edge around tomorrow. Trust in me and give me everything that burdens you. Place your worries in my hands and don't question that I will help you. Do not attempt to fathom things your way, as it was it were bring uneasiness and pity to your soul and ailment to your body. Believe in me. I will not fall flat you. I will always be by your side, reminding you that I have not come to judge or condemn you, but to donate you life and plenitude. Set aside everything that prevents you freed yourself of stresses that constrain your potential. Move forward with certainty toward the put of your favoring. You carry within you the control of my spirit, which drives you to do incredible and uncommon things. You can do it. Son, just endeavor and be courageous. Walk with thoughtfulness, sympathy, and honesty as you move forward. Don't lose your confidence, keep up integrity in everything you do, and proceed building on the foundation of truth. Keep in mind that I am with you which I am continuously considering of you. Our doing not falter to turn to me after you require offer assistance, look for me, and I will reply you. In danger, I will secure you, and in your need, I will give for you. Go ahead. Son, do not halt. Daughter, prevail your destiny and claim all my guarantees. Keep accepting, indeed if no one underpins you. In depression, I go with you. Adored child, adored daughter, endeavor to live a life of cherish, compliance, and purification, recalling the give up of Jesus, who out of adore gave himself as an advertising on the cross for each one of you. Endeavor to live separated from all corruption and all sorts of debasement, dismiss covetousness, keeping absent from your mouth any obscene word, indeed absurd discussions and coarse jokes. Remain absent from any hone or bad habit that leads to carnal intemperance, to a life full of scattered wants and interests. On the opposite, fill yourself with the control of my soul, permit your lips to sing acclaims and donate much obliged. Let each of your works reflect the adore and leniency I have poured out on you, and let your activities be living declarations of kindness and liberality. For no one who is eager or clings to worshipful admiration will acquire the kingdom of paradise. Don't permit beguiling contentions or wrong conventions to sully your information of my word. Don't be wrapped by beguiling lessons that look for to redirect you from the truth, driving you to a way of perdition and destruction. Stay established within the truth of my word, for it will be your shield against the enemy's plans. Don't let this world and its ways impact you remain absent from gossip and all dangerous feedback. Don't let these things restrain your confidence and development. Escape from the guide of the wicked and the short-lived joys of this world. Don't let the evil one enter your heart. Keep in mind, cherished child, adored daughter, that you just are light in Christ Jesus. Live showing thoughtfulness, cherish, equity, and truth, for usually satisfying to me. Endeavor to put my word into home, living with astuteness, judiciousness, and intelligence. Make the foremost of each moment to ponder it, since the days are fiendish, and these times require individuals of valor who are not silly, but who get at my will. Subsequently, my child, my daughter, don't lose your confidence, trust in me, and be fortified within the control of my might. Don't let question or your fears take hold of you, endeavor to continuously provide honest to goodness declaration of what I have drained you. Walk with boldness, kindness, and judgment. Let your walk through life be a loyal reflection of my adore, amplifying a making a difference hand to those who endure and are in require. Remember that each act of benevolence, each act of sympathy, each word of support may be a reflection of my nearness in you. 
so proceed to be a channel of love and light within the world. Don't develop fatigued of doing great, for at the proper time, you may see the fruit of your devotion and give up. You will see how every work you are doing in my title brings favoring and peace to those around you. Stand firm and loyal to my word, don't donate up or tire of driving forward in the confidence. Be constant in supplication, not disregarding that your foe, the fiendish one, prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. He as it were needs to draw you absent from me, but do not let him. Don't let your doubts be utilized against you to make you withdraw. Don't fear the plans of the adversary, nor restrain yourself sometime recently the biases and questions that the world is against you. Stand firm within the confidence, shake off all question and fear rest in my word. Keep in mind that I am continuously working in your favor, regardless of the trial, challenge, or trouble you face. I will never take off you alone, my cherish and security will encompass you at all times, directing your steps and holding you up after you feel the burden is as well heavy. Beloved child, cherished daughter, today, I leave these words for you to keep and treasure in your heart. Believe in them as the beacon that guides your path within the middle of darkness. These words are seeds of truth and quality. They are an endless source of intelligence and consolation that will offer assistance you in troublesome days. Continuously keep in mind them, for they will fortify you to overcome any impediment and grant you peace within the middle of storms. On this day, Walk with the certainty that I am with you, and that no trial, tribulation, or anguish will separate you from me. Continuously development with strength, sympathy, and integrity. Keep an intellect that each challenge, each trial, is fair a step closer to your reason in me. I cherish you, my child. I adore you, my daughter. Rise presently and walk by confidence, bearing witness to my ador and truth. I will continuously be with you, by your side. I will do my work in you, fair open your intellect to my word. Let my cherish drive out all question and fear from your heart. Remember that by putting my word into hone, you will pick up a good declaration and get incredible blessings upon your life and for your future eras. I need you to know that I am watching your activities. I hear your prayers, and I am continuously by your side. There is no minute after you are alone. I am with you at all times, in every breath, in each beat of your heart. Beloved, be a vessel of my light. Pass this message along to someone who is longing for encouragement and strength in their walk. In your minutes of delight, I celebrate with you but I too stay by your side in your minutes of trouble. For I am here to bolster you, to supply you with consolation and strength, to remind you that you just are cherished which shall be able believe in me. No matter how dim the way could seem or how confounding the display of your life, I am the light that will light up your way, the compass that will guide your steps, the quality that pushes you to move forward. You merely have to be believe in me, and in my interminable ador, and y'all see how impediments got into be openings, trials change into lessons, and tears turn into smiles of appreciation. I know that after so numerous terrible encounters, it is difficult for you to accept what I tell you today, but I need you to know that the ador I have for you is more prominent than any botch you've got made. It is more effective than any fear and more mending than all natural solutions. It does not matter how numerous times you've got lurched or how numerous times you've got fallen. I am here to lift you up, to bolster you, to remind you simply are commendable of cherish and pardoning. There's no mistake that cannot be recovered, no wound that cannot be healed, no torment that cannot be transformed into joy and celebration. Acknowledge my unrestricted adore, let me take the reins of your life and I guarantee you that I will direct you on the correct way. I will deliver you the quality to confront any challenge that presents itself in your life. 
take off behind the weight of the past and the burden of blame. Permit me to direct you to a future full of conceivable outcomes, bliss, and cherish, where peace rules in your life and trust keeps the fire of your heart lively. Let my spirit surge your being, and let my word recharge your intellect, for in it you may discover the answers to numerous of your questions and concerns. You'll feel my unconditional love and my unbounded elegance that is continuously accessible to you. Let my presence set you free from the pressure and push you've got gathered until presently. Fair raise your hands to the sky and get my quality so that you just can keep moving forward. Remember that it does not matter what you've got done or fizzled to do within the past. I will always be here to forgive you and give you the opportunity to begin over again. My love for you is unlimited and infinite, and there's nothing y'all do to alter that. At this hour, my child, my daughter, close your eyes and inundate yourself within the tranquility of my nearness. Let go of torment. All your worries and fears permit me to carry them, to help your burden, and to fill your heart with trust and delight. Let your stresses blur away and your fears break up within the light of my presence. Don't let the shadows of the past obscure your display or cloud your future. Rise with boldness and assurance, knowing that I am by your side, fortifying you and guiding you to a desert garden of peace where concordance and quietness rule. May this day be for you the starting of unused life full of reason and meaning, where trust sparkles inside you like a star, appearing you the way to fulfillment and realization. From today, walk with the certainty merely are not alone on this natural travel, for I will be your companion, your refuge in times of storm, the light that scatters all shadow, the peace that calms your storms, and the love that heals your most profound wounds. Trust that my ador will transform your life, your being, and your destiny. Fair open yourself to get my favors, my blessings, and my interminable elegance. Open yourself to the ponder of being adored unconditionally. May these words be kept in your heart and be like a balm of adore and mending for your soul. Each time you keep in mind them, feel my loving presence in your life, guiding you, ensuring you, and looking for your well-being. There's nothing within the universe more valuable than you. Get this with a door, presently and continuously. Amen. Donate me many minutes of your time. I have divine disclosure for your life. I get it how tired you're of hearing awful news, how disturbed you're with so numerous family, financial, and enthusiastic issues. The arrangement to all your issues is in my hands. I have the control to free you from the bonds that oppress and torment you. You think that everything you're experiencing now is since I turned my back on you due to your many faults and mistakes, but nothing can be further from the truth. I know your heart, and there is nothing you can do to make me turn away from you. I am not uninformed of your needs. I know your tensions and the times you torment yourself when something terrible happens. I know your life. I know how much you've got endured, how much you've got cried. But in all those minutes, I was never distant from you. I was continuously with you, prepared to assist and consolation you, indeed after you did not listen my voice and overlooked my word. I remained steadfast by your side. I never surrendered you. Sufficient, cherished. Don't endure any longer for I am by your side. I will not desert you. I will continuously appear you my pure and earnest cherish through my word and through individuals I put in your way nowadays to talk to you approximately me. I don't need you to question what I tell you nowadays but to get it that I will continuously be with you. My door for you goes past what your eyes can see. Cherished, understand that I am your maker. I have been with you since some time recently the establishment of the world. I know all your dreams, objectives, and ventures. I don't judge you, nor will I judge you for the past. 
I as it were need to re-establish and recuperate all your wounds, to utilize your life concurring to my purposes, that in me I'll walk in favoring and success, that your dreams and objectives may be satisfied, for that has continuously been and will be my will. So don't be confused any longer. Don't think that I am not by your side, indeed on the off chance that you cannot see me, indeed if you cannot feel me. I will continuously be there for you, prepared to assist and favor you so you will be able to accomplish everything you set out to do. But for these things to happen, it is fundamental for you to evacuate all negative contemplations from your mind, discard question, and turn absent from sin, for those things will as it were bring stress and fear to your heart. Don't let the enemy's voice expend your life. Don't let malevolent comments harm or hurt you. Bring all your problems to the sacrificial table. Yield your life and cry out to me in supplication. Put all your burdens and tensions in my hands. Believe in me, and I will donate a modern course to your life. Your fate will be victory, not disappointment. Since in me I'll discover the genuine reason of your presence. Keep in mind that I am God and Father who rewards the obedience and meddle of his children. I don't want you to disregard all that I have for you, but to understand that I have called you to be favored. All the gifts I have here in paradise I will allow to you until they overflow. For everything you've got dreamed, everything you have inquired of me, I will allow you. There will be no deterrent or issue that will anticipate my blessings in your life. Since everything I do, I do with purpose. Nothing may be a coincidence. All you have got been through is fundamental for your confidence to be refined like gold. So, cherished, it is time to confront your fears. Take a delay in your life and take off behind all the issues you're going through. Put them aside, near your eyes, and cry out to me. I will be prepared to tune in and meet all your needs. Keep in mind, I will continuously be with you. Or do we not donate up? Never disregard that I am your God who fortifies you and will continuously offer assistance you, continuously maintain you with my honest right hand. Don't drop into the enemy's trap, for he will try to create you except that there is nothing set aside for you. He will attempt to blend up to mix up you into considering that your life has no reason, that imagining and considering huge or futile. He will attempt to steal your favoring and all the great things I have reserved for you, but be calm, for if you stay in me, you can inquire for anything you want, and it'll be given to you. Keep in mind that within the confront of life's difficulties, the best reaction is faith. So, child and daughter, take my hand, and you may be able to realize everything you set out to do. Things you never imagined achieving will end it up a reality. Never disregard that the equitable are compensated with all sorts of blessings. Just seek me in supplication. Don't halt talking to me within the mornings, amid the day, and at night. Look for me at all times and with all your heart. Keep my word, and I will compensate you with awesome endowments. Keep moving forward without losing heart, child. Keep moving forward, daughter, and rest guaranteed that you and your family will need nothing, because I will fulfill my promise to bless you until it overflows. Believe me when I tell you that I will take your burdens and ease your worries. Bring all your problems before me, those things you accept are misplaced and unsolvable. Bring them some time recently, me. Those circumstances are labyrinths from which you see no way out. Lay them at my feet, and you will see how I resolve them. Trusting in me will open the entryway to significant and positive change in your life. Do not fear when your adversaries shout that you cannot succeed and put obstacles in your way. Nowadays, I tell you merely are not alone. I am with you, and go some time recently you, as a compelling giant. If your foes need to scare you, 
let me remind you that none of them has the control to decide your predetermination. You are not in your enemy's hands, you are in my favored hands. I invite you, my precious child, to draw near and be filled with my love. Tap join to partake in the deeper truths I long to share with you. Let us walk hand in hand, growing in faith and grace. I am the source of light that will direct you within the dim, the compass that will appear you the way to peace and success. I will expand my arms to lift you out of the chasm in which you discover yourself, carrying your burdens and lightening your stresses. You are not alone on this travel, cherished child. I am by your side, supporting and securing you each step of the way. So trust in me, and I will assist you. You know that in me I will find the way, the truth, and the life, for I am the door through which I will enter into my elegance and favoring. Through this entryway, I will discover the wealth and delight your heart yearns for. No matter how troublesome your past has been, the display may be unused day for you. I am advertising you the opportunity that this world and your distresses can never deliver you the opportunity for a resurrection, unused life full of reason and meaning. It is time to let go of all your uprisings and feelings of resentment and permit my adore and pardoning to stream through you. Deploring past botches will serve no reason. Let go of what seem not be. Open your intellect and heart to this time of altar and re-establishment. Let me increment your quality and help the weight of your burdens, for it is my crave merely walk light and free towards a modern first light full of accomplishments and victories. Fill yourself with persistence and my adore. Don't let the criticisms of others influence you. Learn to excuse those who have harmed you, giving them the opportunity to recover and develop. Keep in mind that sympathy and kindness are virtues that will reinforce you and make you more noteworthy each day. So pardon those who irritate you cherish and deliver another chance to those who near the entryways on you. At that point all will see that I am in you and you are in me. My child, once more I remind you that you just are not alone. I am with you. I come to assist you climb this mountain so you'll reach the summit and succeed in your life, for I will grant you the quality and continuance required to attain all you set out to do in this life. So don't allow it, my child. Don't let all these troublesome circumstances victimize you of your dreams and hopes. Keep in mind that indeed within the darkest midst, the light of trust never goes out. No one reaches the guaranteed arrive without first crossing a leave, confronting difficulties and trials. But believe that you just are not alone in this desert. I am by your side, being your steady guide and back. I will be like a cloud of security amid the warm of the day, providing shade and help in the midst of the trials, and amid the night, I will be your column of fire, giving you rest, warmth, and heading. My child, if you don't mind, do not question my words. Place all your belief in me, and you'll encounter astonishing and inexhaustible endowments past your circumstances. Once again, I tell you believe in me and do not drop into the enemy's trap. He will attempt blend up to blend up you into thinking that your life has no reason, that issues and stresses are more noteworthy than your confidence. But you stay firm, clinging to my word, since in the event that you stay in me, you'll inquire for anything you need, and it will be given to you. Keep in mind that in the confront of life's misfortunes, the leading response is supplication and reflection on my word. So, my child, take my hand, and you may be able to realize things you never envision. You may overcome all stress and misfortune, and your triumph will be a reality. My child, seek me continuously in supplication. Do not halt talking to me within the mornings and at night. Look for me at all times and with all your heart. Keep my word, and I will reward you with incredible gifts. Keep moving forward without losing heart. Keep moving forward, daughter, and be completely assured that all your burdens and stresses will vanish, 
for I will fulfill my promise to grant you peace, delight, and happiness. Listen, my son, to your father's instructing. Peruse these proverbs to end it up more shrewd. Maxims 4. Benefits of Shrewdness. Listen, my children, the instruction of a father, and be mindful to no understanding, for I give you great tenet. Don't spurn. My law, when I was my father's child, delicate and thee as it were one within the locate of my mother. He also taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold my words, keep my commands and live. Get intelligence, get understand it. Do not forget, nor turn absent from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you, cherish her, and she will keep you. Intelligence is the principal thing in this matter. Get intelligence, and in all you're getting, get understand it. Lift up her, and she will advance you, she will bring you honor when you grasp her. She will put on your head in decoration of beauty, a crown of eminence she will convey to you. Tune into my words and hold on to them, and you'll have a long life. I have instructed you the way of shrewdness and guided you on the proper ways. As you walk, your steps will be consistent, and once you run, you may not stumble. Hold firmly to instruction, don't let it go. Keep it near, for it is your life. Don't take after the way of the evil or walk within the way of fiendish dodged. Don't indeed set foot on it, turn away and keep moving. Those who do fiendish cannot rest until they cause hurt, they nourish on evil and drink savagery. But the way of the honest is just like the morning sun, sparkling ever brighter until the complete light of day. Pay consideration to my words, tune in closely to my idioms. Don't let them out of your locate, keep them in your heart, for they bring life to those who discover them, and well-being to the complete body. Protect your heart over all else, for it is the source of life. Put absent lies in misdirection, and keep your discourse unadulterated. Keep your eyes centered ahead and see straight forward. Consider the way of your feet and let all your ways be secure. Don't turn to the correct or the clear out, keep your feet from fiendish. Listen to me, for I will talk of great things, and my lips will tell what is right. My mouth talks the truth, evil is hateful to my lips. All my words are honest, none of them are turned or warped. They are clear to those who get it and right to those who discover information. Select my instruction over silver, and information over fine gold. Intelligence is way better than rubies, and nothing you crave can compare with her. I, wisdom, live with judiciousness and discover information and discretion. To fear the ruler is to abhor fiendish. I despise pride, self-importance, fiendish behavior, and unreasonable discourse. Guide and sound shrewdness have a place to me. I have understanding and quality. By me, lords rule and rulers make fair laws by me, sovereigns administer and nobles, all who judge properly. I adore those who cherish me, and those who look for me tirelessly will discover me. Wealth and honor are with me, persevering riches and exemplary nature. My blessings are way better than gold, indeed fine gold, and my yield way better than the finest silver. I walk in the way of nobility, along the ways of justice, bestowing riches on those who cherish me and filling their treasuries. I have been with the ruler since the exceptionally beginning before he made anything, I existed from endlessness, from the begin, indeed before the soil came to be. When there were no oceans, I was brought forward. Some time recently there were springs flooding with water. I was there some time recently the mountains were shaped, some time recently the slopes I came into being. Indeed some time recently he made the soil and its areas, or the primary tidy of the world. I was display when he set the heavens and put. I was there when he drew a circle on the surface of the deep, when he set up the clouds over and fortified the springs of the profound. I was by his side when he set the boundaries for the ocean, so the waters would not cross his command. 
and when he laid the establishments of the soil. I was close to him as a talented, skilled worker. I was his everyday enchant, cheering continuously in his nearness, celebrating in his possessed world, finding delight with the children of men. So now tuned into me, my children favored are those who take after my ways. Listen my instruction, and be astute do not disregard it. Blessed is the one who tunes into me, watching every day at my entryways, holding up at my doorposts. Whoever finds me finds life and gets favor from the ruler, but those who sin against me hurt their claims souls those who despise me adore passing. Let my love shine through you, my precious one. Share this message with a heart that needs my presence and peace. Amen.